Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Broadcasting at 60 pers a second yes. from Atari. Somebody said yeah. um, somewhere that they heard Atari purring on oh, the yeah. camera. He's pretty loud. Let's see. Get this down. Can you unhook that yep. at the top? Just unhook it. that yeah i bet they can yeah. oh he's so purry and so happy to be on the show and i'm glad everyone is here with us as Yay. well can you pull that down so it doesn't loop mm -hmm. uh, oh purr yeah yes. they can hear it uh we've got four games atari 2600 night tonight Yay! um we have an exclusive work in progress update on ladybug arcade <laughs> And we're also going to be playing uh, three other new games. Uncle Harry's Nose Hair. Uh, very unique name. Uh, by uh, Chris Reed. Uh, Chaser by Carl G. Nice. Another new Quadtari game. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, and Hellway by Octavio Pinho Bokel. Hmm? I'm sure I'm getting that wrong. And I want to thank everybody uh, for tuning in as well. All the Twitch subscribers. Uh, 8 bit Swami, Al in the Fur Arm Scar, Coder, Cadlocks, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan, NVC, Drexel, Amy Dan, Dan, Great Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC1, Urado, Carl G, Mark Space Inc, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Miss Command, Mem K Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat, VG, Cohog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spiceware S, Ramirez, Stephen A, D Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan, K Trek MD. And you can support the show and subscribe for free as well and get your name on that list. If you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime, ow, and click subscribe. Make sure you follow mm -hmm. and click subscribe and click like on all the things. Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook and Instagram so you don't miss a show. Cat cam is down. Yep, your cat, cat cam's cam over there. is in the wrong place. <laughs> And it's also covered. It's Otherwise, cat cam is in teleconference mode right now. <laughs> it is. Otherwise, you'd be getting a view of the, the rest of the uh, office, the which the is office, which would be very far good. less interesting. It's a lot of oh. plastic bins and uh, well, not less interesting, but a lot messier than than the normal view. Yeah. So there yeah. is the view of the Ataris. There you go. And the other Atari's gone now. Mm. And I want to thank everybody who's in the chat today. Uh, D Train, Nathan Strom, Carl G, mm. uh, Mukhaus, Doctor Mukhaus, to you. <laughs> yeah. He earned that degree. Ah, uh, there you go. You got to call him Doctor. Uh, Dan <laughs> AVC, Vitco, Vitoco, Eight Bits, Crossbow, Canadian Tenor, welcome back. Carl G, Metal Atari, Miss Command. Uh, myself. Um, I see Dan ABC. I don't I know Sposta. if you... Dan ABC, yeah. yeah. Um, and everybody else who's Yay! lurking. Hey, welcome, welcome. Um, uh, oh, yes, the uh, Perseverance. That was very, very cool. Mm -hmm. We have a we have a helicopter on Mars. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that video yet. It's it keeps advertising it, but I haven't I haven't I haven't. The landing it. was cool. The, yeah. the photos that are coming back. Mm. I haven't really paid atten close attention to the audio that it sent back, but mm. it has a microphone. Somebody said the microphone's down. <laughs> um, so no more sounds from Mars. It's not much to listen to. There's wind. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Low yeah. density wind. I mean, if I suddenly know. you start hearing something language like, it would be a little freaky. Some patterns. So, yeah. yeah. Some clicks mm. and patterns in the background. So I got a, I got this on the weekend. Um, oh, this is cool. This is yeah. uh, Super Mario Brothers Game and Watch. Yeah. And it's not the one you're thinking of. That came out last year, late mm. last year. Mm -hmm. There's a new one that came out recently, um, which. Okay. Is pretty much Thank the you. NES Super Mario Brothers mm. in a handheld mode on a tiny screen. Um, but this one is the uh, LCD version mm. from 1988. Uh, it is actually one of the best Game & Watch. Watch. Watches You've that been, I have. He's been playing it for the last couple of days. I like you, you I actually passed, got kind of sucked into it. So Yeah, I haven't passed level 8 yet, which yeah. it loops around after level 8. Oh, I see. It's got a scrolling... Uh, maze or scrolling uh level it's uh one two three four five six six wide 
mm. kind of spots by three high. So you navigate through a maze. Um, it has bullet bills. It's got one ups. It's got the little guys that throw things down, but they're throwing hammers down instead. I know of the the uh, yeah, the, the guys in the clouds. You know that, that oh, go along oh, the that's, top. Oh, that float. Yeah, that yeah. float along. Yeah. Uh, you have to rescue the princess at each level. There's little mazes to go through. Wow. There's spinning fire things. They don't wow. they don't look like fire. They're just dots. That's very cool. Um, and I've been looking for this for a long time. Yeah. And I knew it was a pretty good game, but it's actually way better than I thought. Yeah. Um, for so for a game and watch. For a game style. and watch. Yeah. It's it's really involved. They're mm. really really cool. That's cool. Um, so I just have kind of Zelda left to get that's that's the list. big one uh, there's, yeah. there's a bunch more that i like mm. but I, i've got one let's see one two three four five six seven eight and that's the ninth one now so i do want the zelda one but mm. it's getting up and up and up in price um and i got a delivery today some more joystick extenders mm -hmm. and these are really good to have because are it's, they for the 2600 or uh, any kind of the combination now that we mm. have the 7800 and the quadtari there's a lot of connectors going all over the place mm. um so they're really convenient not having to go in behind uh the 2600 and also not unplugging and plugging into the port on the console so it saves a lot of wear and tear on it um so i would advise anybody and it actually extends it too um, to the couch. Anybody who has these consoles to get these because they're really, really good. And they're also handy for the Atari Vox as well um, because plugging the Atari Vox directly into your console kind of leaves it a little hanging. Gotcha. Because it's like hardware right into other hardware. Yeah. And it just would drive me crazy. It would worry me so much having yeah. it plugged directly in. So this kind of separates it and so you makes can it have flexible. It slightly separate. Yeah. That and it sense. doesn't you know, stick way out the back as well, so you can have it to the side. Oh, Nathan Strum is asking where you got them from. I believe I got these on uh, Amazon. Yes. Um, they're not cheap, but they're not expensive. They're like twelve dollars for two, hmm. which is which is fine. Um, they're good quality. Um, yeah, they work. I don't know. It's not much to say <laughs> about extenders. Yeah. Yeah, they make the games go fact faster, but no. Um, they're really, really good. Yeah. And I think they're worth it. Um, oh, yeah. Ed Ladham sells them. Someone well, said console5.com too, Crossbow. Oh, great. Yep. So um, there are obviously a few places you can look. Yeah. yeah. So you get two for $12. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that's comparable to the other places, but. 12 Canadian or? Yeah. 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 12 Canadian. So it's so going to be even, even cheaper. Even cheaper in the so. US, yeah. 10, 9 in the US? Yeah, I don't know. I never know. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I got them for the Quad Tari because um, that takes two going into the back. And then mm -hmm. I uh, had to have uh, two for the 7800. And then I brought out the XEGS for a second. Uh, we were playing it not too long ago, but also those have very strange uh, angled ports. And they're really hard to get things in and out of, so I got them for that as well. Mm. Um, so we're going to just dive right into it. Uh, Ladybug Arcade. This is an exclusive work in progress update. John sent me this today, hours ago. So uh, this is brand new. Uh, brand, this brand new. first came out January 12, 2021. And this is from... See, even my notes aren't updated. It's so new. Uh, February 23rd, which is today. So I was going to play the 19th version, which was also still an exclusive update, but this is even exclusive as her. Um, so let's switch over to the 2600 and get that going. There, uh, you can play the maze first and I'll read and play the game. Oh, it's all tangled. Missed the opening again. Well, you can always rewind and be 15 minutes behind constantly. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing. Mm -hmm. I think you can do that in Twitch. I don't know. Maybe you have to wait till the whole thing ends. I don't know. It's better live and then watch it at the end. Because then you can that's respond and type. I, thought, I, think you... I don't think you can rewind till it's all done. Maybe it depends on the, the show. Can you rewind it if you've watched it? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Here we go. Save key found. Quadtari, Quadtari found 2021. Okay. Very nice. So uh, I'm not going to be playing. No. Nope. Um, I'm going to be reading a bunch of stuff. So 
What do you want to... Actually, I might as well keep it in the versus mode. You're Just in, play in case with me? I want to jump in. Sure. Um, I would play the easy version. Easy? The yeah, lowest just so level? Can, yeah, just so you can get far and show the levels off. Okay. So set it to the... Oh. No. See, I did, yeah. No, I knew you were going to do that. You have to go knew up it. and down. Yep. Uh, one versus... Left and right. Novice. Novice, there we go. So, let's read out what the changes are. I'll just go with the stand. You can restart the stream while it's running. Okay, so you can rewind it. Nice. Yes. So for those who have not seen this game before, uh, this is an, an, a, a rewrite pretty much from scratch mm -hmm. almost of a port he did uh, 15 years ago, I believe. Uh, a ladybug, and this is Ladybug Arcade. Um, the original Ladybug he did was using hardware that was available back in the day. I, I still think it was quite large. I think it was an 8K. Um, this is a 32K, and it's using um, the ARM processor, uh, using the CDFJ driver, um, uh, which allows him to expand the maze. Um, so these are the things he wants to have in the game or has already mostly imp implemented. Um, 11 by 11 arcade maze. The 2006 version was 11 by nine. So I believe he's got more height and the correct number of dots. So he's got the right no number of dots on the screen now. Uh, Captain Classic says, live is better. We'll definitely catch the opening on YouTube later. Was hoping the clock ran backwards a few times. Disappointed. No, we only added five extra minutes. If you watch this on um, Twitch, there's almost always a guarantee we're not going to start on time. <laughs> Ladybug 2600 was 16K, not 8. Okay, mm. there we go. Thank you for the correction. Um, 20 independent doors. The 20, 2006 version had 16 symmetrical doors. So all the doors in this version switch, flip separately. Because in the 2006, if you flipped one on the right, one would flip on the left. I don't know if it's too loud. It turned out just a little bit. Um, flickerless maze using alternating playfield colors. The 2006 version used color blending that tended to flicker. So uh, this doesn't this doesn't flicker between two colors. This one has um, I think it flickers two lines, and uh, that's you're able to turn that off. Uh, I think it's that. So if you don't want uh, flicker, you can turn it off. But last time we played this, we took a vote and people wanted the flicker. <laughs> yeah. Nobody seemed to mind the flicker anyway. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer the way it looks like this. Yeah, it's more full. But for people who don't like flicker or it doesn't show up very well on their, their screen. Oh, gosh. What the hell? No, I... I, I uh... Went right into it. Was that an accident? Yeah, I, yeah. I find that a lot. You'll see me... Have, to have trouble going around corners. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Uh, door opening animation. So before the doors just went flip. Yeah. Vertical or horizontal. Mm -hmm. Now they have a 45 degree angle. Oh, it's the tur green turkey. Welcome, deactivated styles. I actually found a website that says what each of them are. This one is a praying mantis, which is pretty much what it's we thought still, it was. It still looks to me <laughs> like a... Turkey, so. The first level like was uh, Ladybug Beetle. Is this the third level? Second. Third. Anyway, third. Third. Second level just says insect. Fourth level is a uh, ant. Then it's a beetle. Then a wasp. And then it just says insect for the thing that's a tooth. Mm. A, possibly could be a moth. It you know, could be like a moth. You know those moths with mm -hmm. eyes on their wings? Because it looks like it has eyes, like a dancing tooth. Mm -hmm. So I bet it's a moth. And then it's a centipede for the one after that. Uh, yes, VHZC did put out a uh, release candidate one of Slide Boy a bit ago, so he's added um, a couple more levels, the one we played the other day. Uh, enhanced status display on the top showing special, extra, and multipliers. So he's got that fully along the top. Yeah, 
didn't have enough time to crazy glue that in. It's not this. It's it's. I don't know what it is. It's uh. Something. Oh, oh yellow. Come on! I tried to go up and it went to the left. I have so much trouble with this. It's it's because. Stop it! Oh my goodness! You have to be pretty much perfect to get through a passageway, right? Yeah, but it's it's. Um, more arcade authentic ladybug intro from the bottom of the screen. So they come on the screen. Uh, multiple layouts selectable at the start of the game or just play with the arcade maze. So I think you're playing with the arcade maze, right? Well, get it, yeah, I can get out of there. Get a trap down there. Super awesome game. Take my money now. Oh, yeah. So good. Like, this, this is... Whoa, run! Run! He's out. Oh, good job. Um, high score saving to save key. That's one thing that hasn't been implemented just yet. It recognizes the save key, but it doesn't save yet. Um, uh, John Chepo was working on that just before he uh, sent this version over to me, and he almost got it working, saving the high scores. But he had a bit of screen roll that he needs to eliminate first. Uh, high score initial entry screen, similar to the arcade, and you'll see that uh, when Tanya finishes her game. Which is going to end anytime soon because I oh, have no you. control. Do you think you do you think your controller is better? That one? Probably not. I don't think so. It's it's about being precise at the uh, openings. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, you could use angles to anticipate it, but sometimes that doesn't work. Wrenching on the joystick does not help. That uh, makes it worse. Uh, scoring an instruction animation screen similar to the arcade. Up to sk six skulls per level. Now we've got up to four. And it adds one each time, I believe. 2006 version had a max of two. So what are we on now? We're on the beetle level. We ran right into the skull. Improved graphics, including multicolor veggie graphics. So you can thank Nathan Strum for all the updated graphics. And he's in the uh, chat right now. So if you want to thank him directly. Yay. Oh, thank extra. You, Nathan Strum. Oh, and one away from special. Got an extra mm -hmm. ladybug. Yay. Some of the arcade bugs are a subject to interpretation. Yes. <laughs> Uh, two-player alternating and possibly two-player co-op or versus mode. So he hasn't implemented co-op. That would be interesting. He has implemented versus mode. Which I guess you could play co-op by leading the bug away from your friend. If I was playing the bug. Get it. Get the other one. Get it. There you go. Um. So, in... I want to talk about... On. The colors for a second, which I think is incredible in this game. Mm -hmm. So you see around the border, there's uh, the actually the whole maze is made up of pretty much three colors. Oh yeah, that was stupid. It's made up of purple and green. Yeah. And then there's the white dots. Now, if you slow this down frame by frame you'll see that the white dots are actually purple and green at the same time. Each alternating frame is purple and green. And on the, I guess in real life, like purple and green combined to make white. They're oh, opposite God. colors on the, get those, get them, get them, get them all, get them. You've got, you're about halfway. Go, go, go. Well, they, they respawn. Yeah. So you want to go for clumps. You're almost done. There's one more. Oh, just in time. That was pretty good. Meh. 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 It was Meh. going in directions I didn't want it to, so that's okay. It's pumpkin level. It's uh, the moths. They look like dancing teeth. I don't think uh, we're going to get away from dancing teeth. <laughs> um, so I think that's incredibly amazing that... Um, He's able to make the white dots, and they're steady too, because they're not flashing ever out to black. It's always going in between purple and green. 
and it makes, like, I cannot tell that that's two colors, can you? Like the white? Nope. Not at all, no matter how I, I blink my eyes or move my head from side to side. Moving your head from side to side ah, does go make... go up! Oh my god! does make it shimmer a bit. That's you need yellow. Oops. Oops. <laughs> the teeth are very so, fast. Oh, it's making me crazy. Very, very fast. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, so boy. many cavities! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, good try. Though. They're fast. Yeah. My brain is already gone. You are the dancing teeth. <laughs> is that a song? <laughs> I bet there is a song called You Are the Dancing Teeth. I can play as the dancing teeth. <laughs> oh. oh, I wasn't paying attention. Go immediately to there. Immediately. Oh, like to the middle. Right yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. It's not Wait. bad. I'm not. I wasn't paying attention to the border because the border. Oh. Fucking hell. Go in the direction I want you to. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the techniques used to create within the hardware limitations are always fascinating. Yeah, you have to think about... <sighs> I haven't seen this guy before. Oh, he is the wiggly wiggly centipede. And they're very, very fast. Like, they outrun you. Literally, they're... Oh, got it. I would have thought the red would be much less time, but... Um, is there a red pixel area on that second score digit? Yes, there is. It's it's my console. It's not the programming. Um, consoles can have a variety of quirks uh, for timing based on what you've got in them, um, how warm they are, um, whether you've had them upgraded uh, with different uh, chips, like to upgrade the video. <laughs> no, he's after you. Because mine is uh, RGB modded. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if it had that problem before it was RGB modded. It's kind of funny that red is there when there's white right next to it. Hmm. And I wonder if it's making that white from the two colors or not. You're just going to do all hearts? Mm -hmm. It doesn't save it. Uh, Thomas J. advised I have a timing issue, apparently on 7800, since the score fonts can look odd on Slide Boy sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it just happens, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, see, it's not doing it right now, but it, was, it does it while um, it's in the game. Mm. But anyway, I think the way this draws it is incredibly fascinating. So I'm going to play next, if you can read out all the changes. Okay, so that's where that where you left it off. Yeah. So, oh, those are the little guys. Yep, and we'll read about Very that in a bit, nice. so we can get some more help with the game because we've got some hints for the the different uh, insects. So, what maze? I like the red and blue. Sure. And you can see he has picked complementary colors mm. for each of these mazes, mm -hmm. right? Um. Oh, how do we do this? How do, how do we do this? Is it... So when you pick it, you get to pick your maze, and it's in that screen. Where do you pick it? Um, I thought it was here. Where you could alter it. Anyway, it's somewhere. I think it's on here. Uh, no, I'm looking. <laughs> Don't grab it as I'm grab trying it. to read it. Grab it. I'm going to get uh, it. You can now trigger Flip. the maze color Easter egg on the maze select screen when you start the game. Start a new game. The maze select screen is shown with the maze arcade. Move joystick left to right to select one of the four mazes. Flip the color black white. Okay. Press pause to enter the oh, color select mode. So he did change. You just can't do it in. Yeah, he changed the. the you can't do it do in it. the arcade. How does he keep... Oh, no. See, now the combinations are changing the yeah. dots. Yes. Because I'm not picking complementary colors. That's right. They don't look white anymore. But I can play mm. with any of these colors. Oh. Johnny WC. Green green. Nathan actually picked out the colors. Ah, good Very job, nice. Nathan. 
Well, he is an artist. He should know his uh, color wheel. <laughs> uh, I want a red. Where's a red? That's kind of red. What does a good red go with? That's a bit much. Maybe that? Go with that. And I think you have to switch back. Yeah. Okay. So, I also made a few other changes. Change the title screen ladybug display when you cycle through the game modes to better reflect the object of the game. So one red ladybug is, play, is displayed for one player, one red ladybug and one orange ladybug is displayed for two player alternating, one red ladybug and an insect is displayed for one player versus mode. Showing one player controls the ladybug and one player controls a bug. Uh, for two player verses, it alternates between showing the red ladybug and an insect and then an orange ladybug and an insect to indicate that it's a two player alternating game versus mode. Uh, move the maze color Easter egg. We just showed how that works, so I'm going to skip that right. part. Yeah. Um, new, when you change the color of mazes, you can now play with the updated colors. Mm -hmm. um, when I add save key support, the custom colors will be saved also. I like that. That's very cool. Yes. So you can make, keep your own colors yes. if you want. Um, of course, you're going to lose the original colors, so you better remember them. <laughs> Write them down somewhere. Yeah. Added save key detection, save key found displayed. There is no save key function yet, though. So high score settings aren't saved yet. That's and they still, still aren't. in progress. Yeah. yeah. This was this was one one behind one this. behind the one okay. we're playing. So we have even more updates to this. Yeah. Note: it will detect a save key in joystick port two on a Quadtari connected to the right controller port. Added Quadtari detection. Quadtari found displayed. The Quadtari can now be used uh, can be used now in conjunction with a save key. If a save key is found in no Quadtari, there is only one controller available. Versus modes are disabled. Two player alternating. Both players use the same joystick if a Quadtari is found in the left controller port. Yeah, so this is a list of all the options gotcha. of save that keys and Quadtaris yeah. and joysticks that are available. Yeah. Of which there are a plethora. That guy needs to get the hell out of there. Oh, oh, oh. That guy homes in on you, I find, the flashing sometimes, one for Sometimes. Sometimes, I guess. I, I feel like they go after you if you're in their vicinity sometimes. Yeah. Uh, the custom colors show what a good job Nathan did picking up the default colors, if nothing else. Yeah, the default <laughs> colors look really, really they do. good. Yeah. yeah. When changing colors on a maze, you can press reset to reset them to defaults. Oh, That's good, 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 good. In case yeah, you very good. put red on red and you're like, oh god, what yeah. did I do? I need that for red. There we go. I need that for yellow. So if anybody hasn't played Ladybug, oh, I need that for, oh my god, I just missed it. <laughs> um, you can see along the top there's special and extra. Special's in red, extra's in yellow, mm -hmm. and um, the third one is a multiplier, and that is in blue. And you can see the things, that heart is blue right now, I'm going to get it, and it just filled in the five times. Yep, so, so you get lots of extra score. Yeah, and you want to get the other letters when they're the right color. Special and extra share um, some letters, so there's options with those. Uh, extra gives you extra lives, so mm -hmm. if you spell it extra, you get an extra life, mm -hmm. which is always great. And special brings you to a special screen. And you it get ends, lots of bonus. It, it ends the and level immediately. Bonus. Yeah, both extra and special do. Yeah. yeah. So if you're in trouble... Oh. Oh, the turkeys are coming for you. They are. They're waddling their way oh, down. Oh, see if you can get a carrot. It's very Ugh. hard when they're all on the screen oh, to... Oh, someone someone died. Jump oh, right back. That's not no what I wanted. No carrot for you. No carrot well, for you. Well, as soon as he leaves, I'll get the carrot. He goes, yeah. like, down. He may. Get, get out of your home base. Oh, well. Yeah. Should have got the carrot before the last dot. On the veggie harvest screens. So that's the special, I think. I change it so that only veggies that you've seen will appear on the screen, including the veggie of the next level. Oh, interesting. I did this to limit the number of points you get on the screen since oh, it unfairly will give the player a ton of points for something that is somewhat the luck of the draw um, for the letters in special. Right. 
So he, he doesn't get more bonus points than are really uh, necessary. Mm -hmm. So there's an L that is... I've already got the L, so I don't know what to do with it. I guess it's yellow. Just get it anyway. It doesn't just really matter. Just gives you points. Yeah. Just generic points. You get you get an increase in score if it's blue, don't you? Like if you, do if you don't points. if you haven't gotten the three blue hearts, I think you if you get it when it's blue, it, it counts? counts as a heart. Really? I I think we need to test that out because I was yeah. thinking that the other day because I think it might. Oh God. Do yeah. You get all the stuff. You around? should always eat letters that you already have in red. Oh, well, that's that's a that's oh. not something I knew. So you must get extra points. Because the red is the highest multiplier, yeah. I guess. I did not get the dots around their home base. No, and now now you it's now almost it's almost easier to die. No, I don't want to do that. Well, might as well try. on a on a really high level, I think you might well, way it would better be easier off. To die. Yeah. Not better, but easier. I'm sure there's strategy. Oh, now you do it. When after one's released, if it gets out of the way, then you go for it. Because the next one's not gonna come out. Right? Get out of there. Oh my god. Uh, so red object at five times will get you four thousand points. Ah, so if you get And if you get the gotcha. the um veggie, everything will pause. Did oh I, did I die? Nope. no. Got it. You are lucky. Parsley level. Part five. Okay, so now I'm going to eat all around here. Yeah. As much as I can, and I'll get that. Get that heart while you can. Go. Definitely the novice is easier for getting the Are letters the and the and the extras went yeah. because it's a little slower. Yeah. Come on, blue. But it takes a long time for it to cycle around. When you don't want it. Yeah. Okay. E oh, get it. No. No, you want yellow. I, I, sorry, I thought it, me the wrong I thought, uh, I thought you needed the E in special, but I realized it was the P. Look at this beautiful screen. It's where you get an extra life, and he goes do 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 down to the bottom. I wonder what the maximum lives are. Maybe to the score. I don't know. Mm, do you think, maybe. or do you think five is the most? I don't know. Depends on what's in the arcade. He's usually pretty good about replicating. Get a letter. Um, you have a P. You have no P. There, 800. I got it because it was red. It was red? Yep. Oh, um, no. Try blue. I want to see if it counts as a oh, blue heart. Well, I wasted one, so I can do none of them. So I don't want to waste want them. want yellow, and you want... Yeah, okay. No, that would be... That would be a waste. Yo, 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 yo! Perfect. Get it. Yeah! And I think you want to get all the multipliers as soon as possible, because it multiplies everything you do. I don't know if there's extra lives in this game, because it has a function for giving you extra lives. Like, based on points, right? Well, yeah, the extra. Yeah, so I don't know if it needs to... Ugh. Get out of there! Go up and get the other ones! No. This is huge points. Nice. And it pauses. Oh. I'm wasting my time here. Mm -hmm. I'm playing basic level. I would never get or this novice. far. Or novice. Novice level. Well, uh, they don't move any uh, fast. Do they move faster at the higher levels? It just makes the letters easier. See, he goes for you. Oh. They do hone in on you when you're close to them. When they're... you're close to them, like, yeah, they definitely go for you. Okay. No extra lives based on points, only for spelling extra. Yep. Oh, one more. Two, 255 is the max reserve. Oh my god. But it will show only the first eight. Wow! So you can just keep adding and adding and adding. Wow! Oh, it's the it's the tooth. tooth. Nope. Uh, oh, I need yellow. And a P. No P's. Oh, so unlucky. So I need a P, a T, and an A in yellow. Seems so slow when you want to get it. Yeah. So what do you want? You want blue, right? Yeah. No. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. Okay. I, I was didn't think I so. thought maybe, but be too easy. It doesn't really matter. Back to dancing teeth. Here I dancing. think because we're on a lower level, it gives me gives you more time to get the letters. Yeah, I'm that's almost, what that's what it does. Yeah. I I don't know if the bad guys are faster. I think they're... Are they faster or so? Because I think it's I think just the, the letter. Speed. Isn't it just the letter? Yeah, they're the same speed. I, 
feel like they're, they're the same fast. speed. They're fast regardless, like... Oh yeah. So this is nice, you can completely block yourself off in, in certain spots. To a point. Yeah. So the maze does... Ah! They are fast, those teeth. Does help. Back to the dancing teeth. Mm -hmm. Get these because they're pretty close to there. And finish up down here. I'm sure there's like an optimal uh, path for getting things. Probably for every maze, yeah. I need a T or a P. Oh, oh bad guys a T. are slower novice to start off. Okay, so that makes there's sense. It okay. does seem, the first level does seem very slow. Th these guys are fast. Oh, they're brutal. Oh, they're, they are. We'll just skip this one. <laughs> yeah, so does it go see, back? To see what comes does it roll over? Extra ladybug. Just arrive. Is the strategy noticeably different from the symmetrical version? XPA. The red glitch in the score is because your console is changing the color of P01 cycle too late from the red of the reserves. Oh, the, the, in the score. Damn it. Sorry, what was that? There's a little red glitch in the score. Yes. It's related to the reserves. What did he say? The red glitch in the score is because your console is changing the color of player zero one cycle too late from the red of the reserves. Right. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure ma many people in the out in um, the chat. <laughs> it's the timing. Get him. Get him. Get him. Of drawing on the screen. Are those and leaks? changing the colors. Leaks? Those are eggplant. Definitely an eggplant. Oh, well, everything's Carrot. far away. Parsley! Carrot! Carrot! Oh, I wouldn't have got to either of them, even if I went the right way. Mm. Mushroom! Uh, mushroom level, part 10, definitely I've never made oh, it Oh, these far. guys are back. Oh, they're different! <gasps> Oh, it's That's a mix. so cool. It's a mix of them. I like that. And the turkey. Hurry up. Oh my god. It takes forever. <laughs> Welcome to the novice. Uh, ah. Oh, so close. You stay up there. I'm very blocked off from him. For now. Ugh. Too fast. It's too fast. I'm getting high. Ah! 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 <laughs> it's too many. It's too fast. <laughs> Last line. Mm. I don't think I'll be able to complete this level. Mm. The strategy is much different with the non-symmetrical doors. It's a bit harder since you cannot change doors on the other side of the screen now. Oh, oh I see. Because yes. they flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very different strategy. Mm. I see. I see what he meant by this. Because you could block course. guys off yes. on your side yeah. by flipping a door on the other side. Yeah. Oh my God! Get out of here! Oh, look! What? There is a spot. Oh, you can completely block yourself off. I thought there was no mazes with spots that you could well, be safe. Well, if you open that, there, you're still you're safe. Still sa safe. Oh my God! That's cool. Wait right here. That mushroom. Look at that. See, he does want to get you. <laughs> they all want to get you. Oh, they just they just alternate spots there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so brutal. Now try to lock a bug in there. Oh, that's a that's a try trick. to lock all bu four bugs in there. Oh, yeah. How cool would that be? Is this? Is mine is the same always, right? Your ladybug. No, the maze. I've, I've yes. set it up to so this you maze. You picked is... a specific maze, yeah. yeah. Technically. That's a big tech. That's a big. Look at that, how, how big this area is. I, f I feel like this is a. Oh, yeah. Look so at this. You, can, I can do you this can't area. completely block it off. No, but I'm no. safe fish here. You're pretty I'm safe. Like, for if now. he comes after you, you're going to kill him, but now it's open. Yeah, I think this is really... ah, 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 ah. Can I block one of these bugs somehow? No. If I do that, he's blocked. Oh, good job. Of course, I can't go in there at all. Don't need to go in there. Ah. Just need to not die. 
I don't like this spot. They come after you, you're dead. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ladybug jail. <laughs> they are in jail. <laughs> I can't be safe up there. Oh, it's so scary. They're so fast. Ah! Oh, my God. That's it for that. Okay. Your turn. Mm. Now you play the challenge mode. Mm. Now we read off the new information that has been updated for this version. So do I have to change it here? No. Okay, you have to change it. What am I changing? Challenge. There you go. This adds a spider, spider as the fourth cool. bug. I'll use my colors. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, back to this. So today, this version added in the bug activate, activate, activate sound on versus mode when all four bugs are in the maze for an audio cue that the insect control is about to change. We'll play um, the versus mode after this. Uh, fixed an error if you change the number of players. It would silently set the skill level to novice. Oh. Remember we're testing out? I, I'm, I'm not listening. I'm <laughs> okay. playing a video. <laughs> and he went to the okay. left. We were testing this. <clears throat> we were testing this out yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes. Yesterday, and we went to play um, challenge mode. But I guess we changed the number of players, and that he said it silently reset it back to um, oh. the novice level, but without telling you. Oh, really? And that's why we were like, what the hell is going didn't on? Didn't we, yeah, like, didn't we set it to challenge we mode? We did. And it, we started in challenge mode, but then it didn't work. But then we had to specifically set it to challenge mode again for it to reset to be challenge mode. Anyway, it was a bug, and it's fixed in this. Um, <laughs> fixed a bug on the special screen. It would add in the veggies you hadn't seen yet. So that was a bug. Mm. Uh, after you collected two veggies. Um, initially on startup, it would initialize the veggies to only the ones you've seen plus the next, next veggie, but I changed to also shows veggies you have seen. Mm. Uh, change the color maze Easter egg so you cannot change the color of the arcade maze. So the arcade maze is always set, which kind of makes sense. It's like this is the arcade. You shouldn't change the arcade. And plus, there's four spots to change already. Why do you need a fifth? Oh, it's flipping on me. Stop. Stop the flip. Um, if you don't move the joystick on the maze select screen for 10 seconds, the game will automatically start. This is demo proof in the game, so it doesn't just hang on one screen, which makes a lot of sense. If it's like at the Atari Age booth at uh, PRG or somewhere else, and it was, it would stay on a specific screen without advancing. Like if somebody walked away after putting it on this screen, mm. it would just stay there forever. It wouldn't be very... People just look at it and go, what is this? Yeah. The final version will have five custom mazes. Nice. Okay, because right now it is four. Oh, boy. That was quick. Oh, it's hard. It's not novice. <laughs> <laughs> they start right away. So is the challenge mode advanced, pretty yes. much? It's... Yeah, because the color changes really quick. The red is really, really right. brief. And, and challenge is harder because uh, they come Fight right it. out of the gate. You get oh. no no... No time. No time at the beginning of it. Okay. So, uh, do you oh, want to try or do you want me to play again? No, I'm reading. Okay. Uh, maze design is subject to change. Three custom mazes right now. Okay, not four. Uh, you defeated the game now. Look what James found. What did I find? <laughs> what did, did I find? Some? Oh, I found the uh, the trap. All right. Uh, like I said before, you almost got the save key function working. I'm sure that will be in the next build. Um, so you could save your high scores. Um, 
So, let's take a look at some strategies of this game so we can get better. I'm uh, sure we know most of them, but... Ladybug was developed by Universal in 1981. While it borrowed heavily from the Pac-Man theme, it incorporated a few new ideas, more than most imitators. For one, the Chasers and Chasey were all insects, the protagonist being a ladybug. Next, not all the wall mazes, uh, maze walls are stationary. A good portion of the maze features turnstiles that can be swung about, providing you with escape routes from your would-be killers. And lastly, bonus items are scattered around the maze to spell a word that words like special and extra and increasing the bonus multiplier. Ladybug has its share of fans, so when Coleco was hunting for licensees that would complement its ColecoVision system, they saw Ladybug as well as Mousetrap as good uh, competition to Atari's Pac-Man. Um, and it was listed as a game coming out for the 2600, but it never came out. Uh, and then, actually, it says here, in 2006, that is when John Champeau of Champ Games programmed the game for the Atari 2600 from scratch. Very nice. Resulting in an outstanding conversion of the game that was almost lost to time. So this is from Strategy Wiki. Uh, yeah. So let's go through the walkthrough. Uh, flipping Walls mech uh, mechanic of this game reminds me of the locks in Lock and Chase. Similar. The, the locks in Lock and Chase... Oh my goodness. <sighs> Go down! Ugh. You make the walls in Lock and Chase, which is really cool because you can block them as they chase you. Game tips. Go for the blue hearts first. When you begin each new maze, the letters and hearts will start out red immediately. Go to yellow, then blue. Use this opportunity to get all three hearts first so you can build your score quickly. On some levels, the hearts will be in very close to the vicinity of a bug box. The middle is a bug box. Uh, um, an easy grab. If they're scattered throughout the maze, you may have to wait for the last one as the first two. Getting the first two is possible. It's wise to do this before the first insect leaves the den or bug box. Remember, all blue points for dots and flowers are multiplied by five if you get all three well blue. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Either one. Yeah, yeah. Time your color changes. This is easy to do from levels 2 to 4. Hearts and letters are blue until the first insect leaves the bug box. When it appears, the color will cycle red to yellow. This will continue until all four insects are in the maze. But it will be difficult to track. Okay, so you can read this now. Timing your color changes. I got like one, one sentence in. Time your color changes. Let's go on rotate. Well, that's why I thought that's, that was I four. was already on rotate, so... Yeah. Um. What was it? Is there going to be a sexy cockroach like on the label James made? <laughs> yeah, we we're debating what uh, what uh, what that was on mm. the label. It's obviously a ladybug. Then the other one is like straight back wing, straight back antenna. It really looks like a cockroach. I think we kind of settled on it being a cockroach. <laughs> Because it doesn't say. That cockroach isn't even so one, is one of the So that enemies. label you have, is that an original Ladybug um, image or box it's, art? or? Um, uh, it's from the arcade. From the arcade. I okay. took it off the... Um, like the arcade, arcade art. Art, yeah. Like what was on the machine itself? Yeah, gotcha. on the side of the machine. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, also in this one, um, the walls flip. Yeah, randomly. randomly. I don't. I don't find them too um, obstructive. No, they don't flip too often. But you can't box bugs in. <laughs> if I you guess wanted to. that's true. I need that red. Come on, come on, red. It takes a while to get there. Danger, danger. Oh, and now the spider's out, and oh. the spider can go through anything. Yeah. Oh, get out of here. And he heads right for you? Does he? Or no. no, no, get the cucumber! Ha ha! Just spit out the spider. Oh god. He's about as smart as the other bugs, I guess. He just he wanders around randomly. Oh, I always thought it was a wasp, I is supposed to say. Um, <laughs> well, you can't really see. He's got see. Kind it's of kind long covered wings. Right now. Yeah, he does look like a cockroach. It's the yeah. long antenna. A long, that go up the straight, back. yeah. Um, that's definitely a cockroach, those those antenna. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying you to took think. a bug course, right? Some, yeah, I did. <laughs> um, some moths have 
really Damn big it. proboscis and fluffy ones, but fluffy, um, fluffy, fluffy moth. Oh. Uh, um, no, yeah. If John wants to rename the game "Sexy Cockroach," <laughs> I consider it. I think that's a great name. You know, if you don't want to to infringe on the copyright, yeah. just call it "Sexy Cockroach." <laughs> Of course, you'd have to change the, uh, <laughs> the main character to the cockroach. Oh, yeah, maybe. Isn't a ladybug just a sexy cockroach? I mean, yeah. come on. Different colors. <laughs> uh, get out of here. What do I need? Oh, it changed. Changed on me. And it's over. Oh, my God. That's so hard. And you didn't read a thing. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it'll, it'll go next to the starving, starving rhinos. <laughs> starving, starving rhinos. Okay. We're going to play versus so we can show mm -hmm. off that two people can play at the same time. Um, so I'm going to be the enemy. Do you want to be the enemy or do you want to be the I player? Either way. Okay. Uh, what level do you want to play on? Challenge still or? Uh, challenge is fun. You get to play the spider, but... The enemies are definitely harder on challenge, oh, so... Oh, we'll play challenge. It doesn't matter. Okay, start it up. Mm, sure. Insect check. <laughs> ah! I, didn't, I didn't even move them. I know, I, I, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> That's so funny, he came right for me. Uh, yes. Right now, I have the save key and the quad tari. So we've got two joysticks plugged in, and the and the uh, Atari box. So I'm controlling the flashing bug, which just changed. I'm heading right for. Oh no! I did not change that door. It just oh, blocked me off. Yeah, how did that happen? I don't know. Oh, not blocked off that. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, block me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the challenge mode's cool, because once you're the spider, you can go through whatever. Yes. Then you're dead. <laughs> you really have to finish the maze before... But then it does flip away from the spider, right? Oh, yes. He did yes. change it now that it does periodically... I'm going to wait till the spider comes out to control... Ladybird. <laughs> Oops. Hank Hill's dog. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ladybird. Mm -hmm. Ladybird beetles. They are beetles. Ladybird beetles. Go in a circle. But if you let go of the joystick, it immediately takes over. It does. Yeah. You have to continually direct it, or it will just go whatever direction. Because the bugs goes. don't stop moving. I'm going to direct the bug away from you, because I want to control the spider. You can kind of cooperate. Yeah, you by can. Like if you want to. Taking the bugs away as much as possible. Well, you only control one bug at a time. So. Oh, the spider's coming, so. I want you to control the spider, too. Yes, so I can flip all the maze doors. Very excited. The Ed Latin controller is going to be here any day now. Um, oh, now I've got the spider. <laughs> just as fast as him. Last I checked, the controller was in Montreal. Oh, that was oh. short-lived. Yeah, you do that then. Let's see if I can control the spider. Uh, randomizes which bug you're controlling right. Well, mm. at first, it gives you control of the next bug that comes out. Yes. And then... Then when, it, then when you it get starts... to the last one, it's supposed to flip... Every time around, I think, it, yeah. it flips which bug you're controlling. Trying to kill me? No. No. <laughs> Not specifically. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Yeah, he really goes after you. Oh my god. Get out of his way! <laughs> Him at all. <gasps> I've 
out. Spider under your control oh, for God, a short spider period power. of time. Oh, oh. Come on, he got you. <laughs> you have to get used to the spider because He's he good. can flip the doors. He can flip the doors. Not used to that. That's pretty cool. I like that, John. <laughs> I like it. It's fun. It's a nice little add-on. Mm -hmm. John usually throws in something mm -hmm. that makes the game really different, like. Um, Simultaneous two players, or in this one, you can control uh, the enemies. Um, like you did with Robotron, uh, uh, or Robot robot War. What is it called now? Oh, I just forget. Um, he's made it two players simultaneous. Wait, I want the spider. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't matter, actually. No, nope. I'll let you control him for a second. Oh, and so. <laughs> Uh, they kept my Aladdin controller in Montreal for 15 days. Mm. No, <laughs> it just got there. I don't want to wait another 15 days. Montreal. I mean, it was. I, they didn't scan it in. It was technically in Miami for 15 days. Um, but now it's in Montreal, so hopefully it doesn't take another 15. Oh, what do I want? Yes. Is that a bug? So I killed one of them what? as the third one came out, ah, and there's a ah. spider. Oh, if only you could have stayed alive. <laughs> so I killed one. You you ran into a, a skull? Yeah. yeah. Okay. As yeah. the um, third one came out, and there was a spider, and so yes. it remained a spider in the center. Right. So I wonder if you could have released the spider sooner. I mean, By that makes sense. All of them. <gasps> Oh, by running into the skulls. Oh, you'll have to try that next Yeah, time. but I'm sure they respawn. I'm sure they do respawn. It's just that oh, the spider do. was already there, so it wasn't suddenly... Oh. All the skulls are gone now. That's fine. But um, what order do they go in? Is it always yes. three, then the spider? Three, or? then the spider. But no, if you no. kill one... No, no. If you kill one, it respawns as, as a bug, I'm pretty sure. Does it? Yeah. Or does it go always three bugs and spider? I'm coming for you, by the way. <laughs> uh, before I get this. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh, no! Da, da, da. Oh, God. What a, do I have to get that L? Oh, no, there's another There's another one oh, there. Oh, I thought I didn't even see that. Stay away from me. You're not always the spider. No. I, I've swapped <laughs> back, yeah. Yep. Yep. On day 16, you, you can, can phone, phone 800 customs <laughs> numbers. Jeez. Where's my thing? I want my thing. <laughs> We've had it for too long. Oftentimes we can at a post. I don't know for the customs, like when it's, um... Right. Uh, you can look up where your package is. <laughs> well, There's I so much tracking now that, that no. you can do that a lot of the time. I constantly look up where my package is. Me too, is. yeah. But, but it depends on what service is being used. When it's sitting and... in customs for 10 days, what, what, what do you... Oh, it's and red for it's a millisecond. It's really fast. Oh, those turkeys are coming for you. Yeah, you just have to get it. Yeah, sometimes it's just, it's not worth waiting. No. Ah! Are you controlling? No, no. you're not doing anything. Oh, yeah, I can kill my, well, I can't really. Not in a we good place. we were trying place. to experiment oh. with that. Oh. Yeah. But you were in the way. Well, we'll try it again. You don't need to be by the, the skull. I need to kill it, so. I know, I yeah. was We'll try it again from this, the easier level. I wanna, I wanna try that. It's only two skulls. Though. So when but two get released, the third one I wanna, I wanna, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he so did go, that, but there's one more skull. Go right into the skull. On auto release? On the third one or no, before? Right away, right now. Why? One's already killed itself, so. I know. I want to see if it's in exact order. Or it is. It's. Okay. It's, so now this, the next one should be. I don't think so. A bug. Then the spider? No, I think it's going to be three bugs. I think it was only uh, because it was only because the spider was already there. Already and that's cue. what I wanted to try was if you go to the third one and then kill them as... Oh, it, yeah. it'll release the spider, yeah. 
It's yeah. not going to replace it. And then it will replace. Will it replace it afterwards, or are you down a bug? That's no, what I want to see. I don't know. I want to. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Start over. <laughs> In non-controlling mode. Start. Start over. In non-controlling mode, it uh, it just brings back another. There's always okay. four. Always, always, always. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't believe you. Well, um, don't have to. No, don't. No, oh, he killed himself. That's okay. I think it might only work once. You killed yourself. No, I didn't. I didn't control. No, 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 no. You're missing the point of what I'm trying to do. So <laughs> I want it. I want the third bug to kill itself, and I want the spider to get released. I want to see if a bug comes up after. Mm. That's what I want to see. Okay, <laughs> so that's one and two. So you just dodge him, and I can direct him away, but from the skull. Yeah. But you know, whatever. I should stay with this. Okay, now the third one's coming out. Now I want to kill him. So now there's a spider and two bugs, and I want to see. Oh, he'll come. I know. Just stay alive. Stay around here. Okay. Now I want to see if a bug comes after the spider. Oh, it does. Okay. Ah! Ah! Spiders deadly. But you get the spider almost early, if 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 you know what I mean. You do a little. It it promotes the spider. One and up. then now now it okay that's what i wanted to see spider is always last out but not when you kill the third to last that's right one. it's not last out yep it was second to last out that's right whoa you see that door mm -hmm. it went crazy <laughs> flipped like three times in one second because i was flipping it and the spider was flipping it Get out of here! <laughs> it looked like me. a spinner on a pinball table. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was flipping really quick. There. Mm -hmm. Yes, the spider was in the queue for the last bug, but I was just curious if you'd still get a a fourth bug. Right. Or it would just erase. Or it would just just forget not, about it. It would forget about it. That's yeah. all I was curious about. No, uh, John but Shampo no, John Champo knows how to knows how to program games. Yeah, so. he did his homework. Yeah, he has bugs on cue. Bugs on cue. <laughs> Get out of here. Nope. Nope. Extra. Get out of here. Coming for you. Oh, you killed me. You go die. Nope. R and an A, which I won't get because this is a hard game on this level. No, there's no score for the enemy. You just get the satisfaction <laughs> of um, killing you, your partner. <laughs> what would you get a score for? I guess killing the other person. You get a one. <laughs> I think you should. I think little dead ladybugs should amass on the other side of the screen. So Their every time you kill, air? yeah. <laughs> little thin, spindly ladybug legs. Weird looking bug is in the arcade. The um the moth, the teeth guy is in the arcade. Let's see what he looks like in the arcade. He just looks you like have, you have images of them, don't you, over there? Or? Yeah. Oh, well, oh they do stylized. look like teeth. They're wonderful. They're I know. Oh that's true. It's not the actual arcade. Got caught by a turkey. Praying mantis. The green turkey. Do not eat the green turkey. You will get sick. <laughs> nope. Wrong color. It happens. You have to get it right away. Yeah, you have like to be beside instantaneous. it. Instantaneous. You have to camp out where the sea is. Which is what it should be, because the special should be hard to get. Because uh, it is, yeah, um, it's a lot of points. Lot of points but so. you don't get anything for points in this game. Well, like you got a score. Yeah, I guess if you're going. I mean, you're score. going for score. You're yeah. going for high score. In this game, you kind of are going for score. Yeah, Nathan's from all sprites except for the spider adapted from arcade sprites. Yeah. That makes sense. I like this game a lot. It's hard not to like Ladybug. It's such a it good is. game, and yeah. John has done such a good version of it too. Um, and I like the spider. It is a great spider add-on. 
So we're going to go to the next game, mm -hmm. um, which is Uncle Harry's mm. nose hair. Ready. Mm. There you go. And this is made by. Let me go back to my notes. This is uh, about a week old, I think. This build. A week old. Uh, February eleventh. Um, he first started on talk October 11th, 2020. Mm -hmm. Just happened. Nothing. It just blew. Oh, no. It didn't work. Blue screen of death. Maybe it was a zip file. Oh, so, was it? No, I don't. I thought it said bin. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. My nose hairs itch just hearing it. Let me check this out. Let's switch away from blue screen so you guys don't have to stare at that. Oh, it is a zip file. My mistake. It does not unzip files on... What is it? Yeah. Hmm. Let's paste that in there instead of the zip. Yeah, people make zip files when they bundle it with the code sometimes, so they don't have to post two separate files. Um, which is fine. I just have to watch out for them when I transfer them over. Ready. Load it up, please. Uh, this is a 2K game uh, by Chris Reed. It's a very, very small game. Um, he's made a billion other games, what I won't list, because there's a billion of them. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, I'm trying to make a game where a nose hair grows. It does, but there's a problem. As you can see... There's gaps in the nose hair, and I don't want them. Why? Oh, that's his programming. Um, so the instructions from the website. That is a lot of noise. I'll just turn that off for a second. Remind me to turn it back on. Um, instructions from the website. You're my favorite nephew, Uncle Harry said. Come and trim my nose hair. That's when things got really out of control. It started growing really fast. Boxes kept popping up everywhere. Even a demon appeared. Nice. Trimming nose hair was never this weird. <laughs> so the characters. The scissors. You can see them on the screen there. Mm -hmm. In this game, you control a pair of scissors. Yeah. To cut the nose hair that's ever growing, go up to it and press the shiny, candy-like red button. To reference Ren and Stimpy. The more you use the scissors, the faster the nose hair grows. Okay. There's the nose hair demon. This demon isn't your run-of-the-mill demon. It's a nose hair demon. <laughs> Its favorite <laughs> snack is a lovely box. The box. This is a box. What's in the box? Lovely points to add to your score. The object of the game is not let the nose hair reach the bottom of the screen. Gotcha. And get the boxes worth 10 points each. You cut the nose hair by making the scissors you control, touch the nose hair, and press fire. Okay. Touching the nose hair demon makes the nose hair grow faster mm. and subtracts from your score. The nose hair will get faster as, as the game progresses as well. Then the box pops off, up. Not getting the box will decrease from your score. Okay. One point per second. The boxes are worth 10 points. If the nose hair demon gets a box, 10 points will be subtracted from your <laughs> score. There's a lovely zip file containing the code and a nice ROM for you to try. Okay, bring back the noise now. The music. A lot Pretty of people music. talking about how they've been thrown off their dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> Usually we don't play disruptive games like this. <laughs> Cafe Man 2D uh, just has like uh, in stars stops eating. <laughs> yeah. It's this. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, funny, funny, funny. Oh, what? So what am I moving? Oh, what? I think you're wrong. Oh, weird. What it's, am I doing? It started with this controller, but it didn't. Uh... Ah. So oh, he to... comes after you. Yeah, and he oh. takes points away from you. You don't have any points because you haven't got a box yet. So you want to get that box. So you get the boxes and you Keep cut the, the nose. nose hair trim and clean. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's super bizarre. That's for sure. Uh, it is very absurd. <laughs> I could probably I confidently say like it. it's the only game about cutting nose hair. <laughs> I have ever seen. Or any game about nose hair in general, I would, I would venture to say. 
Is this not the most middle-aged game you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looks more uh, like something else than nose hair. Well, it's that, probably better that... to be a nose hair than a dripping nose. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got one. Nathan Strum says, John really excels at adding features uh, replay value. He mm -hmm. does. With mm -hmm. All the extra <gasps> stuff. Oh, he lost oh. 10 points. Back down he, to 30. He, he gets them if they're close to him. Yes. So he goes for them, unfortunately. He goes for you, and then he goes for the boxes in that order. Uh, yeah. D-Train says, you could say it's the best game about cutting nose hair. <laughs> I can confidently say this is the it's best probably nose hair the cutting only game. game about nose hair. Oh. But it's the best one. It is. There's not too many games with scissors in them either. I feel like this game is going to do the round of um, the rounds of Twitch once people realize there's a game about <laughs> nose hairs. I think there's scissors in Mr. Yo-Yo, actually. Mm. There's not too many games with scissors in them, but there are some. It's the best and the worst. Oh, he got one! Like... Uh, it's just it like spawns on the demon sometimes unofficial poll question which third party publisher back in the day would have most likely published nose hair <sighs> discuss mm. oh. what is it data age is that one um mythicon no, i'm not too familiar familiar with mythicon's games Oh, back down to 32 points. I know, that demon really gets in your way. 20th Century Fox. He's a pretty happy demon, I have to say. U.S. games. Oh, <laughs> oh he got it. He was right on top I of know, it. I know, it spawns sometimes. Right. And magic, right. not a magic. And magic makes way, way more like detailed oh. and oh. Uh, colorful, like tiny pixel graphics. Uh, it wouldn't be a magic. Who makes super weird games? Isn't it Data Age that made that Firefly game? Oh, look at, look That's at, no! Super and weird. Stop spawning near the demon! <laughs> 18. You kind of have to go back to the middle. Oh. And then hope it spawns near you, but then you still have to go and cut the nose hair. Oh! Down to six points. Yeah, if he gets one more, I'm, I'm screwed. Yeah, I think it's game over, in fact. Ooh. No! 20th Century Fox could have tied it into a movie. If only they could have. Zonox? Oh, maybe. Oh, it spawned on him again. Um, Vitoko 8-Bit says, keep the demon up in the top left corner. Oh. You, oh. you tend to keep him in the middle, which he has well, no, I'm the trying most to, advantage if he's in the middle, because he can get anywhere as quickly as possible. But I still, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You want him kind of up there, but then you still have to move away from him if he gets too close to you. Ugh. Yeah, he's at the perfect spot. Yeah, I, it's it's you want him to kind of. We'll be on the other end of Zonox for this one. Mm -hmm. Funny. Definitely Zonox. <laughs> uh, the consensus is Zonox double ender, uh, complete with uh, what else? What other homebrew would be this be? The perfect pair with. Well, pretty much. Obviously, it could be a double uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred land game. What other games did... Let's see some of the ones I've noted down. No. Some of the weirder oh. ones. Um, well, you could, you could pair it with Midspace. Um, you could do Larry the Lemon. That would be good, too. The other end could be the Buck. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, um, this is... Uh, a very stable version because he had some issues with the nose hair length <laughs> literally last time it wouldn't cut it short enough <laughs> um, but now it's cutting it exactly where it should be <laughs> no oh you're up to 100 points sometimes you got, you sometimes you have points. to take the hit because there's no way I don't know how this game ends. I think it goes to zero. Or yeah. the, the nose hair gets faster and faster. Ew. So mm. it eventually will get too fast to cut. Possibly. Or the the demon. demon doesn't get faster. No, but he gets... Yeah. The other game would be E.T.'s Pull My Finger. 
Yeah, that would be perfect. 96. At least he's a happy demon. He is. He loves he's doing his job. He's a pretty happy demon. Ah. I mean, he's get. Oh, he didn't get any points from me. And he gets... Uh, one point. One point. It's not much. Gets a bunch of boxes. He's able to smash the scissors a couple times. Oh, he touched. Yeah, it's only like one, though. Yeah. I would buy this to introduce someone to the 2600. Yeah. I mean, it is very straightforward. Anyone under the age of about 15, actually would 20, pro would probably find this hilarious. Yeah. So. Like, it's so bizarre and so abstract. Like, this yeah. huge nose. I, I, guess, I think it's pretty funny. I guess the demon's about that big, isn't it? <laughs> In real life, if you're comparing... Yeah. And the scissors are unusably small. Yeah. Like, the scissors are about, like, that well, big. Well, they're, they're like, you know, nail scissors. A little bit smaller. Like, look at the nostril size compared to the scissor size. Like, they're double the width of the nostril. So they're like that big. I guess you could use tiny scissors. You'd have to do them with like two no. hands. No, no, no. Oh, you got it. Yeah, you can beat him. You are a little faster than the demon. You earn any power-ups like powered shears? Nope. Or you could freeze your nose or something. Uh, I don't, oh, it's getting so it's fast It's so now. fast now. I think the game is over when it touches the bottom. Oh my God, there's like no time. <laughs> what is accomplished by grabbing the square block uh, uh points <laughs> you get 10 points if you get it you lose 10 points if the demon gets it and yep. the longer it takes for you to get it you lose a point but the demon's going to get it like by the time you lose like six points so you lose six plus the 10 so it's very, very bad for let the, letting the demon get yeah, it. Yeah, you don't want the demon to get it. In fact, it's easier to run into the demon and lose a point, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. Worth it just to go right through the demon mm -hmm. at this at this point. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, 10 is up at one nine. Oh, 200. You broke 200. I want to see the demon climb up the hair into the nose. That would be really good at the end. Like you lose, the hair goes to the bottom, your scissors disappear, and it goes doo -doo 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 up the nose. I mean, this is a 2K game. Is it really? This is really good for 2K. Like it's got a nose graphic, cutting scissors, a running demon. It's got more than one thing going on oh, on the screen. Oh, 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 this is killing my hand. No, demon, no. Oh, yeah, you have to use that. Terrible joystick, sorry. Oh. Yeah, the hair speeds up That's and grows when good. you... Oh, the hair speeds up when you touch the demon. Does it? Yeah. Every time? Yep. Oh, well, that's why. Sometimes <laughs> there's... You can't help it. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. The blocks come at a steady pace, don't they? Yeah. The, mm, it's a fairly little rando. Steady. Yeah. Within a certain variability. So you know at certain time you run away from the hair. By the time the demon gets to you. Ooh, so close. You what, almost run out of time to get the box. What is When the box the is really far away. It's a good question. Well, the scissors are a sprite. The demon's a sprite. The nose is play field. Is it play field? It's got to be the ball. Um, because it doesn't share the color of... I don't even need to look it up. It doesn't share the color of the demon or the scissors. Um, so after the play field because the scissors can't go above it and the play field above is separate from the nose hair so it's a ball for sure almost almost definitely it's the ball no it's definitely the ball is there i don't even need to look it up <laughs> um so it'd be a vertically expanding well not a sprite it was just a ball not being turned off <laughs> as it goes down the screen and it's pretty steady. Like, it's a very smooth uh, ball. Fairly smooth. It doesn't look like a 60 frames a second ball, though. I don't know. It looks like a two-line... Two-line kernel. So it looks like it's going at two lines at a time. I think. So the orange block is a wide missile. Oh, yeah. The orange block would be a eight. 
eight wide missile looks like the big key cup question yeah is what the heck is in the box yeah i'm gonna <laughs> die okay that's oh fine. 379 i i my hand was getting a little <laughs> crampy a little crampy nice oh it's got a screensaver <laughs> Is that it? I think so. Maybe the other joystick uh, was working as a reset. Needs to be a risk of getting snorted up into the nose if you sit at the top too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. The uh, button on the other joystick resets. Interesting. That's funny. It stops you from moving if you press the button. And you can't just hold down the button. No. To, to keep you, have to, the, you can go click, 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 click. To keep though. the uh, nose hair trimmed. You can keep <laughs> keep trimming it, though. You can trim... Oh, oh come that's on. Mean, that's mean. Now that's I only mean. have 10 points. Oh, no. Yeah. It, there's a, a real risk at the beginning that you're going to go to zero. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you lose when it goes to zero. It, no? You don't die? No, I think it's I only think the nose went. hair. Oh. Are you going to test that out? No. Well, you can start. Yeah, let it I go could. to zero. Or, or no, uh, let him get the box. Let, yeah. let him get... No, don't go after him. Just <laughs> let him get the box. Okay. And it, it, he only needs one more box and it'll go to zero. Yeah. Here we go. I think it just sits on zero. You have to build yourself one. back up. Oh, no. Yeah, you're right. Interesting. I was just curious. Oh, so I don't want to let him touch me. No, it's going faster already. <laughs> well, I want to reset then. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You kind of want to hang around the left here. And dodge around him. And keep him on the left. Because you're you always to, faster than him. You are faster than me. You just want there to be enough space. Like, if you keep them towards the top, they always appear towards the bottom. So you probably, as long as you can keep them towards the top, yeah. you can beat him to the Does box. It? Are they always at the bottom? Yeah. I've never seen one. Like, either Way mid up. to bottom. I've, I mm. haven't seen one higher up. Yeah. Probably because you're always trying to cut at the top and you yeah. didn't want to make it so it's too easy to get the box. Maybe. So if you wait a little bit over there, then come back here. But when it gets faster, you can't really wait. You have to go back immediately. Really? Yeah. But right now it's slow moving, so you're okay. Ah! Don't. Don't. <laughs> Bad demon. Haha, <laughs> Miss Command. The demon could be a green booger and being known as the boogeyman. <gasps> you should change him to, a, to the green. Yeah. <laughs> Groan, says Carl G. <laughs> then the boxes have to be green. Uh, or the boxes can be uh, gray to match your scissors. So you can just switch to what, what's being drawn. Maybe. Or uh, which missile yeah. he's using. Chop, mm chop, -hmm. chop. 133. But does the nose hair grow faster regardless? whether you touch the demon or not because I barely touched him and it's growing not slow anymore it goes with points maybe as well or just time the amount of time you've played I think time maybe yeah. points no yeah. Ugh, pointless that is. Sometimes, no! Sometimes you can't. You can beat him in a lot of the time, but if it's really close, then. Yeah, that one, that first one was. Or way nose too close. goblin. <laughs> yep, I think that would be funny, awesome. Funny, funny, funny. Definitely should rename him Nose Goblin in the instructions. <laughs> back, back, back. Stay on this side. It's got a good running animation. Oh, got it accidentally. That's yep, a nice that bonus. Happens too. Yeah. Well, if he can get it accidentally, I should be able to once in a while. No, 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 no. So you're saying run through them? Sometimes it's cases? just easier if 
it's better than him getting it. I mean, I know it speeds up the nose hair, but as it gets harder, you kind of don't have a choice. Yeah. You just have to take the shortest, the straightest line, so. And what sometimes you don't lose a score. It was like 3-something? Three 360? Yeah. <laughs> Bonus box. Oh, it would be funny if he frowned if you get to the box before him. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, that would be a cute. I don't know how much room he has in the 2K no, left. No, it's true. <laughs> it's not much room. This is... The no, hair no, grows no, 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 no. faster uh, than current speed while you're touching the demon. Oh. The oh, number no, of chops increases the growth speed. What? Okay. So, oh, my so God. it only speeds up while the demon's on top of you. If you go chop, 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 it, it goes faster. I mean, I've, I've done that chop, chop, chop all the way up. But some, when it's moving fast, you have to, you have to do it even more. So it so, makes sense because then it kind of exponentially cumulative? gets faster. Yeah. Like total each, number each of chops you, in a game. Each time you chop, it increases the growth speed. Oh, no. So it, it, you can't, it can't, can't help but get faster. Right. You should get more points for clipping off along your hair. Yeah, I agree. That would be good. There's no points for the nose hair at all. <laughs> no. But it might it should be a bonus or something. No, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah, I only touched him a tiny bit. Let's see if there's a cat nearby. Well, there's a cat somewhere. I don't know about nearby. Come on. Ugh. Trying to like time it so the demon stays on the left. It's a good strategy, but it's hard. So have to wait a bit, lead him down. Oh, this is a good way. Go down to the bottom. So go down here, then go up, and that makes him take a long time. So you go down here, go up. had to do that. Where's where's the box? Hello? There we go. And then bypass him so he doesn't touch you. He did. Oh, that was close. Oh my god. Oh, here comes the treats. Oh, we've got a pixel here. Yeah, that's what happens when you bring out the treats. They are attentive to treats. Oh, we got two cats here. I do. How to get two cats into yeah. the studio is bring out the treats. No! Damn it. You gonna hit the bell? Mm. Hmm? Are you gonna be cute? While James cuts his nose hair. Oh, 435. Yeah, I've got a good pattern here. You go to the bottom. Yes. Bypass him. It delays him a lot. Yeah. Cut it at the top. Go get the box. Yeah. Wait. Come around. Come here. Come here. Are you going to hit that or no? Of course, it's getting really fast now, the nose hair. I have to cut it every, twice every box now. Three times, maybe. Hello, box. Oh, God. It's being trouble. You going to hit the bell? Hit it. Oh, almost. One more. Oh, almost. I heard a little. There you yeah, go. Good kitty. Good kitty. There you go. I've trained him to hit a bell for treats. Uh, Pixel will not demean himself to do that. No, he will not. <laughs> Pixel's like, no, Atari, you ring the bell. Oh, here, let me. We have a video on his, on the cat's Instagram. Yeah. They do have an Instagram. Yeah. Pixel and A&D Atari. Yes. Um, where there's a very good video of him ringing the bell. So what score should I go up to? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you're doing pretty good. I kind of gave up, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm, I'm a little sick of... Oh, good kitty! Cutting nose hairs.
Good kitty. He's, he's doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. It's not always loud. Roll the score, James. Oh, uh, I'm far from that. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, and... Oh! oh I pressed it. Oh, the demon one. It does take over. It does get hard. 586. So that's a fun little 2K game yep. that has a lot going for it. I think it maybe needs to be a bit harder. Like a bit faster, because that was a fairly long game. Yeah. And it's pretty easy in the beginning. But lots of fun. That's why I wanted to play it on the show. It was at a level mm -hmm. it was at a spot where it was uh, really good. Okay, so the next game. It's a four player quadtari game. Mm -hmm. So we gotta get some more joysticks out. This time I have all working joysticks, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> I know this one is working. I'm just gonna turn it off before I plug this in because I need to plug in the second Quadtari. Uh, port to port two. Oh, he did it. He did it. You have to give him either hide the bell or don't. Or give him the treats. One for each of you. Here you go. One for. Here we go, Atari. Here you go, fix them. Right here. Psst, 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 psst. Hey, 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 right here. Oh, he stole it. He stole it. I'm going to uh, be tr using the Gemini controller here, which I haven't used in a long time, but it should be fine. Screen color change is old school. Hey, why not? It doesn't take much. Just a little counter and a timer. Okay. So we've got the quad tari all fired up. I believe it's this joystick. No, it's that one. Uh, we're going to be playing Chaser. And this is by Carl G. Excellent. And it was posted February 22nd. It's, it's finished. Oh, good kitty. Can you guys hear the bell? <laughs> <laughs> is there a patch? A patch? A nose patch? That would be a good one That'd for a hilarious. patch. That would be hilarious. This, oh, it says it's 2K, but I'm not sure. Oh, he's ringing it again. Um, monster Carl G has already monster. also made Cannons, Chaser, Toy Shop, Terminator, Space Game, Penalt, RC Sumo Bots, Raindrops, Robot Tag, Space Debris, and Witch's Tower. Half of those games were made in the past week because they're all Quatari games. Uh, you can download this in the Atari 8 form. He said, I've been having fun lately coming up with four player games that make use of the Quatari. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could make a four-player maze game with no sprite flicker mm. and distinct player object maze colors <laughs> ding ding, <laughs> and fit it into 2K. It is 2K. And this is the result. Oh, Carl G is in the chat. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carl G. The object of the game... Oh, double ding. Three dings. He really wants those <laughs> treats. One for Pixel, too, because he doesn't get any. The object of the game, if you're the finder, the red arrow, load it up. Okay. Um, so you see the red arrow there, mm -hmm. uh, is to collect 10 pairs of green semicircles. The green semicircles on the left. Avoid getting caught by the chasers. You can see those, uh, three squares in the bottom. The goal is for the three chasers is to simply catch the finder 10 times. Okay. Before your fellow chasers do. And before the finder collects his 10 semicircle pairs. Setting the left difficulty switch, A disables the background music, he says in quotes. Mm. Um, so we're going to play a little bit of this, and then I'm going to talk about why this is absolutely incredible. Okay. What he's done here. Okay. Um, by looking at it, you may not understand why it is incredible. Okay, so I'm the red arrow. Mm -hmm. So move around, please. So that one's blue. So you can control. And I'm just going after you oh i can't the green you're going after the green yeah and you're going after me okay oh do try and go after me well <laughs> I'm, I'm i was trying to control ah. more than one at once oh it takes a little bit before it gets on <gasps> interesting oh you get two halves right and it gets a point yeah see it definitely isn't like a one-to-one -one game. <laughs> no, any. Unfortunately, but um, see, I okay. So I'm running at your speed. Yes. Right, it's kind of hard to do too. Boom! Can I get you? Oh. Nope. No, let me get you. Okay. 
Okay. Blech. So it just it just starts. Oh, over. I, oh, the, oh. There's... Yeah. So there's points on the bottom. Yeah. Um, cool. So the red arrow has to get two of those to get a point, I believe. Right. Let me just check this out. Yeah. So that's two halves. So it's double. It's actually going to be really hard for that red arrow mm. to get to get points. I think. No. With three other guys chasing you. With three people, yes, definitely. Yeah. I think I think I think you're right. This game does need multiple players to show oh, it off completely. Hundred percent. And we will do that the moment we're physically <laughs> able to. I would love to give Atari one and just get him to push <laughs> uh, the controller, and every time he catches, you give uh, him a treat. I joked about but, that uh, on uh, in the forums yeah. that we're gonna get out the um, this, the foot uh, pedal. Resets. The foot pedal. <laughs> and put the treats on the foot pedal so he can start pressing nice. in the directions. Nice. You will now feel the an urge to feed the cats every time you hear a bell. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. Cat <laughs> treat. Ding. Um, okay, now why this game is unbelievably innovative. Mm. It seemingly isn't. But okay, so let's get all it of these characters. It isn't. Nice. <laughs> well, I mean, it seems simplistic. Simple, yeah. Don't, yeah. don't get me, please. Okay. Just try and everything on the bottom line. This is actually good that the green is there, too. Okay. Um, let me get the blue one. Okay. Okay. We have one, two, three, four. Don't, don't move it, please. Why not? Because <laughs> you're annoying me. One, two, three, four, five. And the play field yeah. in a row on the bottom there. Oh. There are a total of three colors on Atari 2600 mm. plus the background. Mm. Right? But how did he do five? Mm. Well, the three enemy uh, colors are yellowish, I guess. Um, turquoise, mm. purple. Mm. And the arrow is red, and the thing you're getting is green. What he has done is a rotating combination of three colors. Okay. That are available through the playfield slash ball, the player one color, and the player two color. So that yellow right there mm -hmm. is made up of green and red. Oh. So that red and that green equals that yellow. Nice. So it is flashing back and forth between... Mm -hmm green and red really fast so that's why i kind of pointed it out in ladybug arcade that the pellets are made of two colors that make flashing. white flashing yeah flashing so fast that you can't tell mm. and those are flashing so fast you can't tell mm. now the turquoise on the right hand side is made up of blue and green mm. it's there's the blue color is the maize color yes and the green so the which is the ball color yeah um and the green, which is whatever, player one, let's say. And then and the arrow is player zero. The purple one is made up of red and blue. So the purple one is player zero missile and the ball flashing back and forth. Wow. Once every 30th of a second, it is going back and forth. Um, so this allows you to have five colors on the screen simultaneously. This is unbelievably innovative mm. of course you're limited to these things yeah <laughs> squares squares and that's all you can have yeah things that enough. a missile and a ball can create actually yeah. no you could create if you look to robot city thomas yench's game mm. he made a helicopter out of a ball yeah he could do the same thing you could make helicopters <laughs> for all of those characters instead of squares which is which is mind-blowing really um, but the helicopter has a rotating blade, in which case it would be different colors on the same line, but you could. When I turned it to 30 frames per second, the bottom row was still four colors. Uh, interesting. <laughs> you mean, oh, tonight is serving 30 frames a second? Uh, I don't know why that's happening. I see face, um, arms. Yeah, I see legs. it too. I see a face. I, I see like <laughs> big broad shoulders oh. and arms. I almost see a person sitting on a, a throne, actually. You're talking about the maze? Yeah. I see like a little in the center. smiley face. He's got a mouth and yeah. two long eyes, like Kirby eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And like arms. Like, a little like, hat. Like oh, arms. Oh, little arms going down? Yeah. Yeah. 
A uh, Rorschach maze. Yeah. It's the Rorschach it's maze. What, it's what you see. But it's a really good maze, It too. is a good maze. A yeah. very big one, too. Yeah. Um, so we're going to play this game again when we have four players. Yes. Um, and it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really fun. We're going to yeah. play all of Carl's games because his games have actually four players playing at once. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so this will be a lot of fun. Anyway, I wanted to include this because it's a new game. It's unbelievably innovative mm -hmm. how it's doing colors. Um, and it's a Quadtari game, and the Quadtari is new. So it's an unfortunate time of our lives where we can't really have four people we have, over. We have the Quadtari, and we can't have th four people at yeah, once. But, but it's we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, and it might take a little while, but we'll get there. Canada is forecast for 2025 to reach her well, immunity. Well, no, didn't at the they point, say sep now? Didn't they they change that back to September or something? Because oh. because we're getting an increase in vaccines. We're really bad for vaccines right now. This this is based on what has happened, not what we think will happen. No, no, no. 2025, no. based on our current rate of vaccination. Yeah, but we're supposed to be getting a ton more. I know, but this is based on yeah, our current rate of vaccination. Yeah, but that's not what's going to happen, no. so that's fine. It's going to go back yeah. to, to being better. Yeah. Um, anyway. anyway, we'll be playing <laughs> we'll be playing this four-party penalt. Yes. <laughs> Can't wait. Ooh, yes. No. Four party everything. <laughs> Let's make everything four players. Can't wait. Everything needs to be a, a, a four player game now. Hacked into four players. We need Pac Man. Four player Pac Man. Yeah, like the. Um, is it a GameCube game? Four player Ladybug Arcade. <gasps> yeah, the GameCube game where you could. Um, where control you can play the, the, the ghosts. The ghosts. Yep. Such an awesome game. Okay, now we're into oh, our last game me. of the night. Mm. It is Hellway. This mm. is a 2021 work in progress by Octav Octavio Pinho Bokel. Sorry for mangling your name. There we go. Um, okay, load it up, please. Oh. Wrong one. One of these. There we go. This one? That one? Oh, no. It was oh, that one. That's weird. Very weird. What? Uh, what? So no. Oh, oh, what's going on? This is probably being you troubles. I don't know. I was, it wasn't. Working. Press the button. Just do normal things. Yeah. Okay, now it's, it's fine. Now it's fine. Um, so you can download this in the Atari Age forums. This is his first game. Um, this is updated today. Mm says, hello, I finally have a game to show after having a project sleeping for many years. It is a fully playable game. Now with the core of the engine done, I'm working on the game variations and adding additional features. Uh, this is first post about it. It's a top-down racing game with a fully determinist, deterministic infinity road, each track with its own speed. I'd love for any of you to test the game, uh, which lots of people have been playing it, which is great. Um, so the instructions, every track has its own speed. Well, you can start. Pretty much avoid the cars. And, um... What is going on here? It's because we have the quad target. Is and, it? Yeah. Press forward and the button. No? Okay. We'll, we'll unplug it and do proper joysticks. Like non-quad target? Yeah. Okay. Having some troubles. We'll just go normal. Joystick three for quad target? It should work, but it's... Giving, being probably being annoying right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Ah, ah, whoa, ah. whoa! Oh, 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 smooshy! Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's really smush. funny. It goes smoosh. Like a flat frog. Ah. Oh. Um, every track has its own speed, and the car generation is deterministic. Accelerating and braking are equally important, <gasps> oh so gosh. it is back to brake. Uh, the top of the screen shows the distance traveled. Um, <laughs> you can get it by the So the top left is the di <laughs> the top left is the distance traveled. It is in hexadecimal, uh, and it also serves as the score. The second field is how much time is left in the track. And the third, your current speed, all in hexadecimal. Because that is a way to keep it nice and short. 
while having large numbers. Um, and you don't have to convert to decimal. Every checkpoint at X100 and at checkpoint. And you are invincible for a little bit. At the checkpoints? Yeah. And now you're back to normal after the sound. Hi, kitty. Um, uh, and the score in your tar car will turn green. This will make you invincible for a few seconds. You will receive an audio alert just before it. If the time is over the score over the score, and the car turns red, but you can still reach a checkpoint this, since this car slowly de decelerates. So you're able to coast a lot across the finish line if you have enough speed and you don't crash. If you run out of time. Uh, the game is over when the time is over and the car is stopped. The score turns white. Switches. There's a number of difficulty switches. Oh, good night, Esmeralda's. Op Bocal. I think that is the developer. Welcome, Oct Octavio. He is up really, 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 yeah. really late. <laughs> Thank you for up. getting up. He said he set his alarm clock to oh, wake up. Oh man, that's really late. So that's some that's some dedication. That is dedication. Thank so you. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Ah, ah, uh, ah. Breaking. That's yeah, smart. It's yeah, the breaking is good over. actually. The braking is a good, and it responds really nicely. Yeah. Like it slows. Good brakes. It slow. No, it slows. Like it's not. It's not a dead stop. Not a dead stop. Yeah. I'm not the greatest at racing games. Oh my god. Oh. You did so well. There. I know, but they they, they you hit you it? from behind. They uh, hit you from behind. Uh. Difficulty switches. They change the craft traffic intensity and color. Oh. oh did oh, I die? Can, I didn't wait. make it. You can coast along. You're almost there. You can coast a little bit more. Don't crash. You made it. Did I? Yep. You're invincible right now. No, go ah, forward. I'm trying to. I can't speed up. I can't speed up. You have to press forward and the button. I was. Ugh. Without crashing. What's going on? Normally. There, there we go. go. It takes a little. It, it, it almost ramps up a little, you know? Uh, the more traffic it has, the more time you gain on checkpoints. Uh, the constants regarding color, time, and traffic Ugh. are so subject to fine tuning. I try to reduce eye strain in this color scheme. It might have different uh, effects depending on the game mode. So he's got different oh, game modes. Don't break and you get, too much. You just get hit by cars behind you. You get oh. different points based on the different difficulty switches. Red. Oh. You still have speed, but you're nowhere near the finish line. Not even close. Good game. Okay. Go right. <laughs> Go right. You can brake or brake and accelerate. Brakes with half speed. Oh, well, see, that's good. So. When you get hit, you have time to regain speed. Yes, it's hard. I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to the speed, the speeding up and slowing down, but it's really cool. I thought there was a... Yeah, visuals oh. are clear. Animation is nice and smooth. It feels really good playing it, too. Feels like you're accelerating and decelerating and... I think he's got rid of the alternate switch. Oh, different color. Okay. Black and white. That's nicer. Mm. Black road. My oh. turn. Oh, you can change the sides. Oh. So this lets you change it. One is like a fence. One is thin. Oh, it's up, down, side, side. Nice. Okay, it's my turn. There you go. Oh, uh, nose hair binary in the forum. New nose hair. <laughs> With faster, fastest speed. Excellent. Okay. So All right, where am I reading? There. Where? Where is there? Game select? There. Game select, the game mode. This must be done before starting the game or after a reset while the title is displayed. The game mode is in the top left corner. Mode zero, default mode, traffic level changes every track point and keeps cycling. The difficulty switches define only the starting traffic intensity. Whoa, this is weird. Weird? My uh, gears and speed dictate the things along the right hand side. Oh! That's a bit distracting. What did, did I do that? Was well, it, it changed to the fence. Oh. It changed it to the fence. Or oh. whatever that is. <gasps> Cool. Mode, maybe I was switching the modes. Mode 2 equals mode 0 plus randomized traffic lines. Mode 3 equals mode 1 and randomized traffic lines. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think I was playing with the modes there. Mode 4 equals mode 0, bigger speed difference between traffic lines. 
Mode 5 is mode 1 plus bigger speed difference between traffic lines. And up and up and up. Um, when you get to mode 8 is mode 0 plus random traffic intensity every checkpoint. So it's more randomized traffic. Mm. And then that goes up based on randomized traffic lines. Let's move on. Ah. I almost need this in a grid. Mm. Yeah. Random traffic intensity plus the other modes. Bigger speed difference between traffic lines, randomized traffic lines. So basically you I'm in a car jam. Get out of here. Sometimes the cars kind of So you can sync get up. randomized traffic lines, you can get bigger speed differences between the traffic lines. You can get random traffic intensity every checkpoint. Okay. And then there's there it would it would form almost like a grid of different options. Right. Um There's too many trucks, too many vehicles on the road. <laughs> They're like blocking the entire that? thing. I'm not very close to the end. I'm running out of time. Oh, no, I'm close. There we go. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! You just sneaked through that. Oh, because I was invincible. That's why. But it was very close. Like, yeah. seriously. Looks like you can go between. Not that easily. No, uh, you get. You have to brake. You have to brake and slow down to the speed of traffic to get around it. Yeah, it's, but when there's it's... traffic right across the road. Yep, you got to slow to the level of that traffic and wait. Wait for a break? Yeah. That's torturous. I feel like it's almost more like a Grand Theft Auto kind of game. like <laughs> Morning rush, way, rush hour traffic. Uh, yeah. Simulator. Highway 1 in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. Rush hour traffic simulator. That's what happens on the higher levels of this <laughs> it's game. very true. Oh. Ah. I'm almost there. Though. Do your tires collide or just the car body? I think it's Everything. the whole thing. Yeah. It's it probably is. using hardware yeah. uh, collision. So I'm sure any part of Makes this. Makes me think of an overhead enduro with the traffic flows and the gears and sounds. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. It's really fun. Accelerate before checkpoint. Have patience to find the opportunities to overtake. Yeah, you do. It gets more natural the more you play. Yeah, you really yes. have to go with the flow of traffic because you'll you're, you'll basically die if you hit anything. <laughs> so the uh, fastest vehicles is the left lane blue the in the left yeah mm. they're slightly faster than everything else oh, I'm speeding through this oh you've got a bit you it, this must be randomized traffic levels must because be. this is much lighter than the last one was and this one's light too smashy smash, smash. <laughs> watch these cats oh no he's just yawning trouble not eating Ah, and smash. a row of three cars. That's what I want. I like this... I like it. I like the look. I like the the bright colors. Yep, um, very great colors. Look, <laughs> a solid wall of cars. <laughs> you have to slow down. Like, you have to slow down and wait. Yeah, that's how it works. Um. Oh, it keeps cycling in this mode. Yeah. Oh, oh. I love I those low distorted twenty six Damn it! Tones. Oh. oh. Game over. So, uh, there are different backgrounds going on. That one's very distracting. So this is That's, mode zero. There we go. So, so we, how was... So game select... Which one do we want to try? Game select. So, randomized traffic lines. I don't know. Try bigger speed difference between random traffic intensity every... So try mode... Try mode uh, four. So click select to four. Okay. Give that a try. So you can read out what mode four is. Yeah, it's very interesting. Ooh, ooh. Parallax. Ooh, that's playing with my eyes. Do you want me to change it? No, it's okay. It's kind of neat. I'm going to smack things, though. Ooh. Um, yeah, the parallax is very, very cool. The smaller ones are further away, the bigger ones are closer. Oh. 
only program them in all different colors. Oh my gosh, that's that so would just, good. That different would... levels of gray. Ah! Like the Slow big down. ones are 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 lighter, and the further ones are darker. That'd be so amazing looking. But I think. Oh my goodness! Why am I doing so badly this time around? Yeah, it's different mode. And yes, the sides really throwing me off. So he did a, a series of videos talking about the game, and um, he made the space between the cars seven mm -hmm. pixels and your car is eight pixels wide. So if you're really good, you can dodge between cars um, because he leaves just enough room that uh, you can slip between them. It's just play field. Okay. Um, well, if it's play field, you should be able to do colors. Um, yeah, but I, I think that would be intense. Oh, well, if that's Playfield, then one of your cars is... What are your cars made up of? The enemy cars. Is everything Playfield? Are the cars Playfield, too? Homebrew is one of the better racing games. I would probably put in order Enduro Indy 500 for Hellway. Oh, wow. Ah! Kitties. Come on up here. Nice looking game. The car sprite is fairly simple, but it works really well. Overall design. The parallax like is playful. super field. heavy traffic here. Why can't I accelerate? Accelerate. Yes. What are the cars made of? The enemy cars. I gotta look it up. Nobody's answering me. They are made up of, oh, all different things. Oh. So they're made up of the missiles and the ball. Let's start that up. Ball and the two missiles. That's what it's made up of. So one of them would have to, yeah, you wouldn't be able to have variation in the colors. Of the play field on the side, unless you did some good timing. Oh. What is going on there? The Game Boy Wiz followed us. Yay! He says thank you for following, but it's totally unintelligible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My All right. Turn. I'm not gonna have Second lane from the left is the ball. Oh, player one sprite. Oh, did you read that out already? Uh, no. The parallax is play field. Second lane from the left is the ball. Right. You might have enough time to change the color. The greater speed difference makes the game harder. I re recommend you get some practice first. Yeah. What? I just wanted to see what it looked like. Which one should I play? Um. Random traffic intensity every checkpoint. Sure. They're all random traffic intensity. Uh, try mode two, randomized traffic lines. Sure. Just want to show it off. Yeah. Good night, Miss Command. Good night, Miss Command. Thanks for hanging out. Look at this craziness. Oh, it's all green. Everything's green. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Everything is green for a second. Oh, it gets so fast. You can go really fast in this game. Uh oh, he found the he found the bell. Turned upside down. Oh, is he trying to ring the bell? I or is he trying he to open the box? I think he's trying to ring the bell. Oh. So sad. No, no more. <laughs> no more Chonky Cat. <laughs> we love Miss, you. Mr. Chonks. Mr. Chonky. Oh. No more treats for you. Yeah. Come, 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 come. No, 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 no. He wants he wants to go back to the treats. I know where the come treats are. Come say hi. I found the treats. Let oh, me please come say eat hi them. For a moment. I know. I know you want to eat all the treats. Oh, here's a pixel. Hi, oh, Pixel. Hi. How did we get so many cats on screen all of a sudden? So lucky. Oh, I need to break. Oh, 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 oh. Struggles. Hi, Pixel. Hmm? Uh oh. <laughs> He's trying to ring the bell. No, sweetheart. No, no.
Oh, now he's trying to go after the treats. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> it's all right. Ah, I'm almost there. Somebody's following. Can't see it. Can you see it? On the left hand side. Followed. The left screen. I know. I just, all I saw was Bottom. followed. Oh. ZPH. Sorry, that was too fast. I apologize. Someone just followed. Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't show up anywhere. It does. Mapamenta. Mapamenta followed. Yay. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you like it enough that we. We'll bother you twice a week <laughs> with little alerts saying, we're on, we're on. But apparently you're up at this time, so it won't bother you that much. No. Oh, 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 oh smash. Was I really love, slick about it. <laughs> I love that they rear end you. I, I feel like not enough uh, uh, driving games have that feature. <laughs> it's deadly. Like things coming up on the screen. Yeah, you have to make sure you get your speed up to the rest of the traffic. But it does let you... Um, Speed up. Though. Oh, yeah, you're trouble, aren't you? I always forget them invincible for a little bit heading into a new track. It's very clever programming that when you die, it uh, gives you a bit of time to readjust. Oh, come on. Sometimes the braking's a little too hard. The D train. I just watched the video of Atari ringing the bell for treats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is super cute, isn't yeah. it? Ah, wall of cars. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's so trafficy. Yes. Someone in, someone in the chat. So, what are you playing on? It is an Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Old school. Old school. A, a video game system from nineteen seventy seven. Yes. <laughs> um, but these are brand new games. Oh, I died. These are brand new games. This game came out. Today, <laughs> this <laughs> this version of the game came out today. That's right. That's how uh, that's how new it is. There are um, over a hundred games put out for this system every year. More than uh, probably a more lot than of other the PS3. games. Because <laughs> they're not making it more anymore. than the PS3. <laughs> Let's name all the game systems that this has more has games. more games coming out on. Most of them, except for. <laughs> uh, most of them except for modern systems. True. Because well, this is... This it's is, actually accessible to uh, um, develop on. This system? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's through emulation and everything else, and there's uh, resources to develop on it. This is this system has one of the most prolific homebrew scenes of any old school system. Yes. Um, uh, it's very popular around the age of people who have enough time to develop <laughs> i guess um because if you're talking like ps2 ps3 they're very hard to develop on you have to go back to like there there is a brick wall pretty much when it comes to developing because it just gets too hard or too big or too complicated for one person or even a couple people to make and that it stops around like the mm, uh, no it really starts to Sorry. taper off around the nes era like genesis there's some genesis games being made but mostly nes and back it has more uh homebrew of a homebrew scene but other systems here and there like i have a homebrew uh pc engine game or a turbo graphics game and Vectrex. And it's really good. Vectrex is very old. That doesn't count. I'm talking oh. about like how new. No, but uh, yeah, no, that's true. That's and, true. And usually the homebrew on the <laughs> new, newer systems are, are fairly simple homebrew because it takes a lot of time, a lot of resources. Uh, off book says, says, oh, uh, accelerate now. <laughs> accelerate, yeah, when you hit the checkpoint. But then I'm scared that I'm just going to immediately die. Oh, I see. When you hit the checkpoint, just go you're, nuts. Uh, uh, because you're invincible. That's a good, yeah, it's a good way to get a lot of uh, track eaten up. Yep. Vectrex, fair, fairly prolific scene. 2600, very prolific. It's a lot of NES games um, being made. Mm -hmm. A lot of them 
They don't get too complicated, but there are some fairly it's complicated really ones. Lots of Intellivision, lots of Coleco, um, lots of Vectrex, lots of uh, Atari <gasps> oh, no. 2600. I thought I was doing oh. well. You can make it, you can make it, you can, can make I? it. Don't break, don't break, don't break, and no accelerate. Now, go, 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 go. Go nuts, go nuts, go nuts. You don't have that much time, actually. Yeah, but then there's all this traffic. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> if you are already going fast, it's probably a good thing to do. Yeah, that's true. Ah, ah, oh, so much traffic. It is Highway 1. And... I can't do hex conversions in my head anymore. Yeah. Your 16 multiplication tables are not the easiest of multiplication tables. I know. Oh, anything above 10 is hard for multiplication tables. Eights were always my nemesis in elementary school. Eights? Eights aren't too bad. I don't know why. The eights... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no. Oh, you're it. at B. Yeah. You're not even close. You're at B. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> well, it has to go up to FF, right? Can you reset? Super fun. Okay, all right. Let's go. You're going to be cute? Give you a few Says more. I'm always cute. What are you talking about? Uh, there's Sega Genesis. <laughs> Ooh, homebrew, not as. I mean, I don't know much about those systems. Homebrew scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, Seventy eight hundred homebrew scene has taken off quite a bit. Uh, there's one guy who makes fifty two hundred homebrew. <laughs> Just one guy. Um, uh, Atari eight bit. Like if you go to computers, that's a totally different thing. There's a lot of homebrew because it was. Oh, I gotta go. But Take then off. you break. Then you break, right? Well, you have to be careful because, yeah. Then you break down to a normal all right, speed. All right, all right. Here you go. Uh, Commodore 64, amazing homebrew scene. Uh, Atari 8-bit, very big homebrew scene. Amazing games. Uh, uh. Um, like all the all the computers, all the old school computers. Even a, 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 I haven't looked into it much, but I'm pretty sure there's a fairly good DOS homebrew scene in early. Go, go, go. Sorry. Less it, speed, more consistency. Uh, okay, okay. Less speed? No, someone said less speed, more consistency. You can do it. <laughs> it was that, the conflicting statements. Like, <laughs> speed up. Speed up now. Well, no, you need to be slow. You need to stay amongst the traffic. It's very, um, I like it actually. I like it a lot. It's yep. it's it's a way pr you have to be very precise. Yeah. Crashing is very bad. And if there's a lot of traffic, you're going slow. Uh, there's can, there's I nothing you can do. Slow. Yeah. Yeah. If you hold the button when you pull back, it's half half. Ah, uh, that's why. Yeah. That's why. He hasn't noticed the bell. I moved the bell away. <laughs> He's like, "Where did the bell go?" Bell gives me treats. Bell uh, gives there me we treats. Go. Like, games don't need to have amazing graphics to be fun. Yes. Yeah. This is made up of... Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> I passed the line and then I was, like, all frightened. There's so much traffic. Um, this is made up of blocks, different lengths of blocks. Yeah. Uh, but you can totally fill in that they're cars oh, yeah. and trucks, and then there's a big rig every once in a while. That's right. <laughs> or a bus. There's a massive or... big rig, and you're like, ah, <laughs> it's taking ah. off. Oh, cats, no. Ah, oh. come on, there we go. A4, getting there. I've only got 18. How do you even say hexadecimal numbers? Oh, crash, that is very bad. Like, eight, is 18 a valid way to say 1 8 mm -hmm. in hexadecimal? Oh, come on, speed up, speed up. I don't have much. Oh, I'm going to make it. As I don't crash. Keep the speed. Yeah! What is CHPT? Is that chapter? Like chapter? Next chapter? Yeah. This is a really good racing game. It's not really racing. 
You're in traffic. It's more, it, yeah, it's 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 a rally game more. Yeah. You're. It's a rally, not a race. Yeah. You're dodging everything. And Checkpoint. It, that's check what it is. Checkpoint on nice. chapter. That makes sense. Thank you. Would be a good four-letter acronym for checkpoint. It needs a K in there, I think. Maybe. Get off the C computer. CKPT would be better, I think. CKPT? Yeah. Ooh, that was a good... Okay. Ooh, speed good up, run. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Good job. And break. Ooh, That's how you do getting, it. You're getting the hang. Yeah. You're getting the hang. Well, now that I know you have to take your foot off the accelerator yeah. when you're braking, it does help, though. Right. Chapters equals Canadian bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's true. No, whoa, yeah. Ooh, accelerate, accelerate, you... accelerate, and okay. break. break it. Yeah. Ooh, that, see, wall. you get a wall sometimes. You have to pull right back. Yeah, this is going to be a heavy traffic level, I can tell. Uh, oh, yeah. Got to get in between. Oh. You said you can do it. You have to be really good at it. Though. Yeah, I would, I would assume that's true. Because there is a, enough room, mm -hmm. but you have to be going kind of the same speed as they are. Rear end you too. Uh, you can do it. Ah. ah! No, no, I'm up to nine. It's not. Oh, I've got five seconds. Five, four, three. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. I need to coast in. I need to coast. <gasps> Kittens, what are you doing? Did you just knock something off? Yep. Come on, I can make it. I love the coasting. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I love that option. Yeah. Where you're like, you're out of time, but you can still make it you if you don't crash. You can coast your way. You've run out of gas. You're going on fumes. <laughs> uh, that's happened more than once. Oh, yeah. Just doing a half cross-country trip. And we're in the mountains. Are you talking about the Coca-Cola time? Or? N well, that too. That was bad. That was bad. Um, but I did that before when we were filming. Uh, going to uh, Saskatchewan. Mm. That cat's going after HDMI. Get, get, get. <laughs> and we're at the top. Uh, there was supposed to be. Oh, did I run out of. Yeah. Oh, I'm nowhere near. Uh, there was supposed to be a gas station uh, where we were. Oh, I made it again. And it had shut down. <gasps> and so we're like, wow. oh my god, do we go back or forward? And you we went, had no cell service there because it was in the forward. middle of the forest. Yep. And we're like, well, might as well go forward <laughs> because forward is where we're going. Yeah. So if we don't make it, at least we get towed forward. Yeah. But I don't, but then we knew that if we went even went forward from where we were, which was kind of a rest stop, with a phone, um, we would have no cell service. Oh when we broke when we ran out of the gas Ugh. so it's like oh my god what do we do so we just went for it and we coasted we did not run out of gas but it was the yeah. lowest i'd ever seen uh the, the the car terrifying oh yeah there's a route of options and i actually phoned the tow truck place i think beforehand from that rest stop Oh, just to make just sure. Just to let them know or something? I can't yeah. remember what I, what I did. Like, I'm really worried. I'm yeah, not sure I'm going to make it. Yeah. Do I pre preemptively phone you? Yeah. Like, we're not stuck now. We don't need anything right now. Yeah. But uh, we're in the mountains. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. There's some wonderful <laughs> cities. Oh, I'm going to make it. I have lots of speed. I'm almost there. Oof. Lots of cities and lots of blank spaces in between. Doing a lot better now that I know how to play it a bit better. With the braking and kind of accelerating through the end ton. <gasps> oh, yeah. Accelerating through the end to get that uh, Focal extra. is basically saying, be, try to be more aggressive with less traffic. So when you have a lot of traffic, you have to be a lot less aggressive, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Where in the mountains was this? This was probably crossing through... Um, From BC to Alberta. Uh, uh, it, um, uh, Banff. Like Banff area. Yeah, like the, cr crossing over the Rockies. The peak of Banff. Yeah. The Rockies. Oh, God. The Rockies. I'm not going to make this one. 
Oh, maybe I'll cr Oh, yeah, I'll make it. I don't crash. <laughs> oh, yeah, speed up. Too late. No, no, you've got tons of traffic. You're going to have to be very careful here. Ah. Oh. ah! Okay, I'll go here. No. Yeah, so you could probably find the place where we stopped at. Yeah. If you look at the peak of Banff. <laughs> um. Yeah, the Rockies, there's, there's definitely some big... A whole lot blank of areas in there and there's also a point too where if the weather is really bad they just basically block off shut the whole shut the whole road down Good luck. <laughs> so yeah they always oh have my to be god careful. What do I... oh no i just decelerated and they're passing me i'm nowhere near no oh. That was a good run. BBA! <laughs> Score of BBA. Score of BBA. Very good game. Excellent. Oh my goodness. It plays so smoothly and so well. Yeah. I uh, really like it. I really like it. Yeah. No. I, I see what people were raving about because before this I didn't play it. But people in the in the forum were like, this is really, really good. fun. It's yeah. Really, really fun. Yeah. And yeah. It 100% yeah. is. Um, so today we played Ladybug Arcade, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Really, really, really good. Um, and great improvements. He's, he's obviously um, just tweaking lots of little things. The basics are there. Uncle Harry's uh, nose hair. Uh, bizarre, bizarre game. Mm. But uh, pretty fun. I think it needs to speed up. And he did post something. Yeah, he just said he, he um, dropped the a new ROM where it, it, it does go a little said. faster. Yeah. Let's see what he said about that. Oh, a uh, vocal. Can you show the last parallax effect really quick? Oh, yeah, we didn't show them all. Yep. Uh, I made nose hairs fast to speed faster, so it should be more difficult. Nice. I tried watching the Twitch thing for the first time, but I tuned in too late because they were talking about Chaser. <laughs> what did they say about my game? Well, to make it faster and harder. <laughs> um, so you got the right uh, right thing. Yep. Uh, okay, so we'll switch back. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll show the last parallax. So let's see what it looks like. It's not that one. Mm. It's that one that we didn't do. Vocal says, I am super happy. <laughs> it looks really awesome. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I like. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's super cool. It's going to do a number on your eyes. Oh, yeah. I like it. <laughs> that, you know what that reminds me of? And I'm sure everybody of our age, of a certain geekiness, yeah. will also know what that looks like. I don't. You don't? No. It has to do with record players. The records. Oh, is it like the um, the bottom of it? What is it? Well, yeah, the bottom of it, kind of. Yeah, I know. You have to be very sp more no, specific. No, no, I don't. I don't. I, I, I know what you're referencing, but I don't yeah. know what that is. So. Okay, it's at the uh, bottom of the turntable. Yes, um, yes, yes, around yes. Around the edge. Yes. Anybody else get it yet? Um, where you can make sure the speed of the record is at the right speed to tune it in to um, 33 and a third, 45 or 78. Mm. And it's got a flashing light at that specific speed, flashing at the right speed, so that if those lines going around the circle are matching up, they should look still. Still, yeah. Um, a strobe on a turntable. Strobe, yeah. that's a better yeah. explanation. Yeah, that's ex and there's three of them. That's usually so for, cool. <laughs> if you have a 78. Yeah. And that's exactly what they look like. Very, very, very <laughs> so cool. So that's very cool. Yeah, this, I, I like. A vocal. It makes me motion sick, but some people like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I think it. it looks really cool. Yeah. But I get the motion because it gives, yeah. it, it does give you this weird, weird effect when you watch it. So I, I totally get that. It does yeah. look really cool. I love it. Yes. It's so great of an option. Yeah. Uh, how big was this game again? Is it 4K? It gives the illusion of racing on a top of a it, pipe. It does. Like you're at the top and it's trailing. Oh, off. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Driving through the top of the hill. 4K. 4K. This is yep. incredible for 4K. Mm -hmm. All the different options. And um, if if those patterns are deterministic, I can't tell. Because yeah. 
there's there's so they're so long that... less actually i have 1k left you have 1k left out of this yeah. wow yeah that's awesome did i make any suggestions <laughs> i think different colors but that's too hard yeah um it does, no, doesn't matter it doesn't need it doesn't need anything. i can't it's think of cool. anything else yeah really really good oh really cool um we also played chaser which looks like it's going to be an amazing four player game even three would be enough i think mm. um to play it you and two opponents yes yeah 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 that's definitely for a four up show when we when we get everyone back oh so, yeah. yeah um and that's uh i think we need more three versus one games yeah and um maybe, yeah, yeah for the quadtari yeah. yeah three versus one mm. and it would be good if like it would take turns three versus one like each person yeah, changes you, you, you get a swap up yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um and then we played hellway which we just played which is incredible you yes. can see the graphics there yes um see on the right hand side there's the it kind of looks almost like a taxi because it's yellow but it's more like a dune buggy-ish kind of thing with the lights on it yes. on the top of it um or like a uh, yeah taxi ish it does look taxi ish, taxi -ish yeah yeah it's a runaway cool. taxi <laughs> crazy taxi that's yeah. another game yeah uh excellent excellent game yeah it's one of those that you look at it and go oh it's all blocky and it's meh. but then you you have to play these games and well, you have to give them a chance and then you discover that the gameplay yeah. is incredible it's really really yeah. fun I yeah. think all the games today had something really unique or interesting about them. Yes, very different. And they're all about them. worth playing. They're all worth worth giving a try. Yeah. Um, I do really like Hellway. I do love the parallax on the side for for that that gameplay. Yeah, and you get it, your choice of parallax. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it feels good. It feels like it plays really well, and it and yes. the acceleration de deceleration feels like you're driving. It's very responsive. Um, yeah. very quick like the mm. the braking it's like you can control yeah it. it's, it's not out of control it, it feels intuitive which is good for you want that in a racing also game, the moving or driving game i should say feels yeah. really good too yeah um sometimes it's like oh it's too fast or too direct yeah it uh it controls really really yeah. well um i would love to play city connection i don't think he's done an update has he we've we've shown that off um but i don't think he's done an update since since uh last time i showed it off um if there's an update that would be amazing <laughs> um yep more driving games the better hell yes there are not enough of them mm -hmm. um so next show i think we're going to be doing a 7800 game a uh, show yeah let me check uh yes we are going to be doing a 7800 show uh, if my dragonfly cart comes in time, who knows? I've been kind of tracking on the forums. Yeah. You can see when people ordered them. Okay. Um, but and you can see I got mine yeah. right, and there's a guy who got his um, about five days ago or something. Very close to me, so it's it's a good chance. But he's in the U.S. and I'm in Canada, so there's a bit of a difference there and there's no tracking because it's coming from poland it's not worldwide tracking it's only tracking within poland well yeah and then once it crosses a much. border it all kind of falls apart a lot of the time a lot of the tracking is like that so. need more racing controller yeah definitely um and i just bought two of them so uh <laughs> maybe you think about that <laughs> but drive yeah. some driving controllers mm -hmm. um but there there's lots of games out there that use them mm. um can you have someone in blaine order for you then throw it over the fence yeah. no there the is the fence is closed at the moment do they let you exchange things when you go to that park that's neither can not let um, that's um what is it neither in canada nor the u.s i think that would be a very big loophole that you would get in big trouble exchanging goods at that park that's true i think they watch people exchange goods i think you're people. right yeah because you just skip all of the duty everything like you'd be in big trouble handing people but packages I thought, uh, gifts aren't uh, gifts are gifts um aren't they uh not if they were purchased by somebody else and then given to you i don't know yeah there's limits to it's gifts dodgy too. it's dodgy like, like there was that tv show right it's like oh they're gifts they're gifts right they're opening up their luggage on tv oh yeah it's no. like no they're not gifts yeah you bought these 
the their receipts are yeah. they're like oh i i came with these all yeah, these you rings love, you love that that border control show yeah <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny what people try to bring into the country yeah yeah um so i don't know what games we're going to play i'm going to look through the 7800 games i've got some up on the board right mm -hmm. now i don't know if the quadratory would make uh driving controllers no nope, they're perfect they work on yep, the quadratory they work just perfectly well? Good. you can have four driving controllers wow. on it because it's are they buttonless driving controllers uh they have a button yeah um which is the button yeah same button okay um but it's a spinning knob that spins Keeps forever going. so yeah. it's good for driving and it uses the four directions mm. as what did they call it a gray a gray counter so as it passes through those directions it goes it counts it it counts them up oh. to 16. like one two four eight and it uses okay. those as counters oh okay it's kind of like doing this almost yeah but spinning it that's that's a simplified way of doing okay. it right it's like you're spinning a joystick yeah and it's able to read those things as it's passing through mm -hmm. it doesn't have the resolution of a paddle control but if you use it correctly it's just fine for like um the data rate will be half it, it is very low resolution okay um but i've seen it used quite well like for like turning a car like you're not going to be going across the screen quickly but for slower movements, movements it does work yeah works really mm. well so cool. you can do driving games but you're not going to be playing um say kaboom with it because it's not responsive enough enough okay yeah mm. but yeah so i'm looking forward to lots of driving games or things moving with with paddles um with driving controllers on it yeah, yeah. cool uh for the quadtari because that that opens it up to uh, a lot of things you can have uh, people going around circles oh, or yeah. moving around edges of borders um what's or that game where, back where you forth. go around and you dodge enemies you could do a multiplayer version of that uh is it's it usually a paddle? It's, it's like a vectrix game it's like you know when you're oh um, yeah it's no that's, you couldn't do that on an atari you can't do that normally okay <laughs> Uh, that makes sense um, <laughs> what am i thinking of yeah it's, um, it's the one with the v and you move your ship and yeah. things are coming up 3d towards 3D, you yeah the, many have tried many have failed yeah I, <laughs> to I make don't that know. game yeah, uh, tempest tempest thank you yeah no 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 because yeah. you have to use the play field yeah or you could use dots and it would look terrible it's it's very hard to make yeah i would think so yeah yeah but the quadtari works on the 7800 and you can oh. make Tempest on a 7800. Ah, there you go. The Quadtari works on an 8-bit system, too. Hmm. So, yeah, somebody will do it. Somebody so, will do Somebody it. needs to make it on the 7800, then. Yeah. Yeah, Multiple Destruction Derby tempest. Quadtari. That's a good one. Hmm. Yeah, any four-player car racing game can be done. Hmm. Um, you could even have, like, stacked vertically, like you're dodging things, because then... Going left to right? If you're going up the screen, that's harder mm. for the mm. Atari to do um, because you have four guys along the same line. Mm. Um, but if you have them stacked vertically, you can have as many things vertically as you want. So you can have your guy dodging things going mm. like that. Anyway. Mm. Super Sprint, Super off -row. Um John, not that he has anything on his plate. <laughs> yeah, John yeah. doesn't have enough. No. You, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ice track racing. Yeah, there's so many, so many possibilities yeah. with this. Because you're not limited to two people anymore. True. I mean, you always had four paddles. Mm. Um, but now you can have four joysticks or eight paddles. Mm. <laughs> yeah. John has not been eager to jump into Tempest. No. It has been suggested. Has it? There's just, <laughs> It'd just, be hard. It'd be very hard. It's just not enough resources in yeah. the 2600. Um, but as soon as the Dragonfly cart comes here, we're going to be playing EXO on a real system. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, there's a bunch of 7800 games. Dragon's Havoc, Pac-Man Collection, 40th Edition, Heartlight, Plink, mm. bunch of games. Uh, I don't vocal. know what... I will study the possibility of adding paddle support. To... Where did I see that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, very nice. Yes. That would be cool. I uh, For that game? Yeah. That would still work. Yeah, because you don't have much room to... I guess, de de how would you decelerate, though? 
Uh, somebody suggested in the forum to him to let go of the button to decelerate. Oh, it, it's yeah, like It's yeah. like our car. Yeah. It's like electric cars. <laughs> yeah. Where you let go of the pedal and yeah. it decelerates, you press it. Yeah. But it depends how much, how the control feels yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. It would have to be, because it's a, like it's an on-off thing. It, it'd be different. Yeah. Um, and then the week after... Next Tuesday, we're going to be playing Mr. Yo-Yo, actually. Mm. He's got a very good working version now. Uh, we're going to be playing probably Dragon Hunt, 79 po Pompeii, and playing the 2600 High Score Showdown Season 5, Alia Quest. And that's a shooter, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm. That's a homebrew I'd never played on the show. Um, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in. No cruise control with the paddles. Mm. No, you just don't press the button. Uh, for the for the for the acceleration button to accelerate oh yeah that's right it's either accelerate or decelerate yeah. i don't know if that's gonna work no you'd be constantly clicking to maintain your speed yeah mm, may not work with paddles no yeah sadly yeah just not not the right input um thank you carl g um um for your game chaser we're mm -hmm. looking forward to playing that four player uh, D thank you, D-Train. Yeah. Thank you, Metal Atari, 1969. And Captain Classic. Apoco, thank you so much for letting us play Hellway. Oh, my God, yeah. That's an awesome Th game. Thank you for making it. Uh, Vitoko, 8-Bits. Uh, Packrat VG. Oh, and Packrat VG. Oh, oh. Thank you for disturbing oh. this game. Nice. See? Oh, there's the Packrat. Nice. I'm looking forward to playing it soon on the stream. Um, uh, that should be coming somewhat soonish, maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, where else? Nathan Strum, Dan ABC. If um, I haven't missed anyone, there's probably some up here. Lots oh, that's people. a new person. Um, Laelism. Laelism. New name. Yes. Welcome. And Game, then Boy Game Boy Wiz. Wiz jumped Welcome. in as well. New name. I always like new names. VHC. Did yeah. you get that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, not. Don't think so. Um, oh, I saw a new one there. Rich Boy. Yeah. 92. 92. Wow, lots of new names. Yep. Azure 6502. Yeah. Anybody else? Oh, Miss Command. Yes. Canadian Tenor. Yes. Lots of chatties today. I think That's we've reached good. the top. Excellent. Anybody sneak in? Nope. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, yes, lots of fun games today. We had a good selection. We lots did. of interesting things to talk about and good lots variety. of interesting games. The yeah. nose hair game definitely <laughs> goes on the list of. Bizarre bizarre concepts <laughs> yeah but i like that you know you yeah. run out of ideas and you need to come up with new ones you need to come <laughs> up with new things oh james gets a treat <laughs> mm, i will have some treats after this there won't be these cat treats though i i think i just heard the cat here oh. comes atari, atari okay. you just ran down the stairs <laughs> you here. get one okay there you go baby there you go Good oh kitty. cat oh, oh that was so thank you. Future stellar, future stellar Stella award, award winner. winner. Which one? The cat? Uh, no, the nose hair. Oh, if you guys no, voted I love, in. I love the, uh, um, I love the, the, the concept. I love games like that that are just way out of left field. So yeah, because absurd like, games, they're wonderful. Yeah, what a yeah. good boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> His stomach is a very good training tool. Yes. <laughs> nose hair, everyone's favorite pick. Yes. Terrible. Just terrible. <laughs> uh that's it we'll be back on friday yes with some 7800 games uh, i'm really looking forward to playing 7800 again mm -hmm. please the dragonfly needs to be here yes oh can't wait so. eventually yeah yeah sequel should be ear, ear hair, hair. Oh. Yeah, a little ear sideways so thanks for tuning in and uh we will see you on friday that's everybody right. have a good week yeah see you next time bye bye, bye, -bye.